too. I need that. Yeah. <laughs> I needed that. Guys. Normally when it's two, I'll be fine. But. I needed that. Guys, I, I, you know what? We needed this. That was the start of the podcast. <laughs> Guys, we needed this. We, we just needed to get together. We had to have it. And have a podcast together. And what are we going to talk about? A little game came out. Let's just get, can we get into the elephant well, in the room? Well, is that what you want to dive in with, is I Zelda? Mean, we can start right away. Well, yeah. here's the thing. I have a story about epoxy poisoning, bad teenagers, or we can go into Zelda. Start with the story. You don't start I poisoned like, myself. Okay. okay. Whoa. Well, that's sad. It's good to know you lived. Welcome to the podcast. We are the Dwee Bros Podcast, where we talk about poisoning, bad teenagers, video games. So now we can't monetize the podcast, because you're not supposed to talk about certain topics in the first. Yeah, I don't think he, he did, he I, didn't swear, Is poisoning so on YouTube's list? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> harmful to children? I didn't swear. I didn't say that yeah. effing, Dang. that effing thing. As long as you turn it into a lesson on how to not poison yourself. I, I didn't say, I poisoned my AWS. <laughs> See, I can get away Double with that. Sticks. Yeah. Do that math at home, kids. <laughs> yeah, figure that one out. <laughs> Write that one down on your Chromebook. <laughs> That's what they're using now. With your back Roblox. in my day, we had to carry around eight textbooks in our backpack, and I get a Chromebook that you break in half and you throw at your teacher, and your teacher goes, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for hitting me with that <laughs> in the head. <laughs> That's all I hear about is just kids just being yeah, little rascals. They're little tormentors. And then they just they get away with a lot of stuff, but not us. We got hit with those textbooks. Mm-hmm. But now you hit the teacher with your we had, to, we had to buy covers for the textbooks. Yep. Yeah, and that was a requirement. Uh, my That would be a fight when we would have to go get school supplies. And it'd be my, me, my mom, and my dad. And always would turn into a fight when it was like, make sure you get three-inch crowns. Or it was yeah. something very specific. And we would look and go, they're not here, they're not here. Sam, they're not here. We're going to have to go to another store. It's getting late. It always turned it because it would be so specific. But then yeah. as we got older, we realized we don't. You don't actually need yeah. the crazy yeah. stuff. Need Just don't get it. But yeah. we would get so particular, and then we'd get there and never use the stuff. Yeah, when I got yep. in high school, it, I remember like we got in high school, and they were like, "What are we getting?" I was like, "Just get me like two notebooks and yeah. some pencils." Yeah, and that's all I took to school. I for. don't think I had my own pencil for yeah. like <laughs> multiple years of edge. I would ask for a pencil every single yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. I'm I was like, one of those laptop kids. I had a laptop for high school. Really? Oh, but you went yeah. to Butler Tech. I, yeah, because I went oh, to the okay. Yeah, you went to the nice school. But, uh, oh, man, I cheated my way through high school. Oh, yeah, who didn't? I mean, oh, yeah. There I was, was cert- it saved my GPA. I <laughs> never I never cheated, but when, it, when my back was against the wall, I did. And it was like, <laughs> here's what I was saying. I never cheated, but I did cheat. Here was what happened. I, really I got into, <laughs> I cheated in high school. Like, I never, I always, always, never I would always, I, I, I'm prefacing it, because I'm not a bad teen. I wasn't a bad teen. I was a good teen. <laughs> um, but we had a Spanish test, and it got to a point where they're just throwing eight jillion words, and you have to know them all for the test. And I was like, can't do it. I'm going to write them all down, and I put them in a note. Like, I put them on a piece of note paper, and I put it up in my hoodie sleeve. And so I would be writing on the paper and I'd slip at that sleeve because I would have like, I wore like large hoodies and I would just look in there and look at the paper and then write down and mm-hmm. pa- be able to pass Spanish. I wasn't acing it. Yeah. I was like, pass, I was get... like, ah, I got to get through this. And See, I did that. You, I was too close. All I would do, literally, like I would go to language arts. I wouldn't pass language arts if I didn't do this. But they'd give out the vocab test or they give out like these kind of different like uh, reading tests. Yeah. I would write the answers on a piece of paper for like all the vocab words. And then what I do is when she hand out the test, when she walked away, I just go in my bag, pluck she put it underneath my test paper. Oh, okay, that was that was ballsy. I'll just, just cop. They ballsy. never wash. They don't. Do the teacher sit the would. desk? And all Ours you do is you walk up and put it on the desk. The ones I cheated on, they always said, "We are watching for cheating. You will not cheat in this class." And I was like, "I'm sorry." I'm in my head like, I- "I'm gonna have to. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure this out." Solid snake. Style. I guess in my mind, I'm like, if I'm gonna fail without cheating, I'm gonna cheat. And if they get caught, I was gonna fail either way. So I mean, like, so who cares? This all reminds me because me and my buddy Sam, we were in all classes together and we were loud we're both very loud people and we tor- we really tormented the people around us with how loud we were we always had a smart ass comment for yeah. everything we just thought we were the funniest people we are very funny but we thought we were the funniest people on earth but i wouldn't cheat like on tests i never was like here let me see those answers i never was that way i did we would copy homework sometimes mm. like it's like ah oh, i forgot about that let me see yeah, yeah i'd always copy that's homework, that's, that's, that's not cheating that. homework is cr- it's bull crap. That's out yeah. of 40 yeah. hours. The homework, go yeah. home and do stuff. It's the tests that but were like the, the big, one the that big I didn't scary. copy, but we were a source for other people a lot of times oh. was papers. 
Uh, other people and the people you got to watch out GBT. for. The people you got to watch out for because we were in honors and the AP and all that. Where the girls that would be in like six honors class, six AP classes yeah. at once, they, sometimes they were the much. one. A couple of them. There was one. They would always want to see our papers and like they were, you know, they were getting paper content. They'd bat us. their eyes a little bit yeah. at you and you'd they say, were "Well, using I'm gonna me stop." Like Chat GPT, like to oh. get the structure. Did for you their did you ever Kids benefit nowadays. out of that? No, I never benefited. Out of it. <laughs> yeah. She benefited. She was up on the stage uh, yeah. for a valedictorian at the end of the thing. You showed uh, up. But, she cheated. <laughs> but I was always happy with a B. I was always happy. Yeah. I would take B. I would rake that in. Yeah. So B, I was a BC student, and I was in the in the higher level classes. So I was happy to be there. But like, I was not going for the gold star. That yeah. was my approach with, with uh, I, my high school. I started getting into, in college, then I cheated in college. Mm. Uh, and, and, man, they got, like, guns pointed at you if you do that. Like, it's more serious. <laughs> yeah, They're like, we'll kick you out, all this other stuff. Well, it started to get in my math classes. I realized I was like, ah, I'm out. Like, I was really, like, enjoying math or whatever. And then you hit a point where it's like, all it is is memorizing really, really long I plus A over slash B, yeah. and I'm like, this sucks. Uh, we're not doing this anymore. Once we started dividing letters. I yeah, because it's like all that is like, well, A is actually M plus B, and actually you have to know what B is, and B is this. And once you had like we the sound string. sound like we're from Ohio right now. <laughs> well, but once you had a string. Oh, a string. Yeah, math was the one thing I didn't have to cheat A at. string yeah. of equations <laughs> and remi remembering that, I went, ah. And on my calculator, I wrote in pencil on my TI whatever, <laughs> and you could barely see it unless the light was fine. I would write on the back slide, like whatever, and all I'd do is pull that up, and I'd see all the equations. See, like, and that's how I passed math. Yeah, see, that, there's and so many ways. in a class I cheated, me and somebody way better than I was that wasn't cheating, we both failed that math class because the <laughs> teacher was so bad. But I was pulling out all the stops. Yeah. I had wrote all, yeah. I wrote all that, and I still failed my, that class. Uh, I was like, oh this God. wasn't meant my to be. My worst version of cheating was my senior year. We took a class called Teacher's Academy. And um, at the end of it, you would have to write 32 papers about... That's a bit too much. Well, it was 32 two-page papers about a certain topic. And so I didn't write... We'd have every day during the class period, we'd have our shadowing period where we'd go to a school, and then we'd come back, and we'd have an hour period to like write our notes well me and my yep. friends we just clowned for that hour and then we realized two weeks from now all 32 pieces of pa like all 32 papers are due like you're gonna fail the class so me and my two other friends we went to our friend's house and his brother took the class four years ago and he had his <laughs> whole binder there so we all oh, sat there well, and copied one, off the God. same paper and just paraphrased we made sure we didn't copy like to enough to where we would know yeah we paraphrased off all of it all three of us failed like we didn't pass um <laughs> but so the, uh, so man we, we really gave it our all but i know for a fact there was one girl who passed and she got the highest score out of everyone she ended up getting college credit and when she was walking past talking about it we, we all agreed that her mom wrote her papers because that girl was dumb as bricks and there is no <laughs> way in the world that she actually wrote a paper. I don't think she could spell her own name. Like that's how dumb she was. So like, there's no way. There's no way. But well, yeah, that was as you see, we are A class students. We were A class learners. But you know, I wanna. We'll get to the other stories later. Let's change topics. I want to talk about this freaking Zelda. This yeah. Zelda is what everyone is frothing at the mouth, and we're here Let's saying we it. cheated on a math <laughs> test. Tears of the Kingdom finally came out. Um, I have not played much of it, uh, as I would want to, but I think between all of us, maybe we could formulate some opinions on Tears of the Kingdom. How, how far are you into it? I'm, I, if I'm in like terms of gameplay, I'm about 8, 10. Okay, maybe we're hours? in the same spot. Yeah. My thing says over 10 hours, but that doesn't sound right. I think it was running let it in set. the background. Um, I, I'm probably at 10 hours. For the first time in history, I think I've played more. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Checked, That's why we brought him in. We I flew him in for I this. Here. I'm at over 25 hours. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Okay, so oh, you're, yeah. you're so the you, experienced boy. That literally boy. never happens. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, remember, I remember vividly when we did Breath, uh, Breath of the Wild, I was ahead of almost everyone. Oh, yeah. You watched me play it yeah. at uh, one of our trips that we did, mm -hmm. and I was still like only through like one. one yeah, I was like, I flew through that game in like two days. You blew through the story, too. I yeah. remember that. I blew through it. Then I played like, a little bit extra of it, and then I was like ready to like, I was like, all right, let's unpack this. And you guys were like, yeah. I I'm still like on the first mission, and I didn't get it at launch either. So it's yeah, I to, that one I blew. Yeah, we were taking time, like kind of looking at the shrine. You're like, I'm already beat it. I'm yeah, already, like, yeah, I, I beat remember. It. Yeah, you were done. But that's because I'm used line. to all the other Zelda games. So yeah. yeah. So we all okay. So we're all kind of all kind of in the same realm. None of us, none of us have beat it. 
Yeah. That's good. None of us have beat it. That's good. It's extremely long, but let's talk about, like, first impressions, because, I mean, we're still kind of learning, sounds like we're still good. I don't think, I definitely have not got all the abilities or things on that Ultra Hand or whatever either. No, I don't either. either. Uh, But uh, I say let's talk about the elephant in the room with the whole game, which is graphics and the frame rate, because that was, leading up to it, we talked on the podcast, it was like, do we emulate this thing? Like, how do we play this in 2023 <laughs> 720p or whatever it was it would go down to with 30 frames and as the reviews were coming in it was like hey when as long as you're not using ultra hand if ultra hand comes up <laughs> it drops below 30 and i was like crap and sure enough like that first area when you're so when you first start the game and you are on that plateau or you're up in the sky yep yeah, it looks like uh, I, I I thought that just you was mean, so like blown out. It yeah. was so bl- yeah, no, it the was, art design was always it good. It was just blown out. The rest of the game I've seen some beautiful landscapes. When, when the sun but would first shine imp- like really harsh on yeah. everything. Yeah. It, it, it's yeah. First impression that's what I'm saying, just first impression. Because once you get into the the down there and like the sun sets and stuff, it looks beautiful. It does look art wise well done. But it was blown out. I'm I i do not know if it was just watching on my OLED or whatever. I'm playing I'm playing on Switch uh, on my four K OLED. And it just was blown out. These whites were blown out yeah. on and the trees, those yellow trees. And I was like, I don't know what's going on so here. So you're playing on Switch? Yes. Your I, Switch? I'm your Switch? Switch? Yep. I'm you're emulating. The, okay, so he's emulating. So here's what happened. Allegedly. I Well, <laughs> yeah, allegedly. I started on emulation and I played for an hour, messed with settings, and with my rig and like trying to get it running. But I'm interested because you have the same rig. I have a 3070 Ti. Oh, okay, you you upgrade it. Yeah. See, I'm on the 2070. Oh no, super, I have a 3070. And it was dipping and having weird graphical stuff. And my I mindset. Think that's CPU more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Because I have an i7. Okay. Uh, super clocked, and I don't know. Big my deal mindset that. with it though was I kept running into like little land glitches with like spaz out and like this other stuff was happening and and like text when it would pop up the GUI or whatever there'd be a black rectangle for a second and it would go away and oh, just, yeah. I kept seeing so much weird stuff with my emulator and trying to get it to work I was like when I get in a game like I like emulating games that have been out for like a year or two years because yeah. those are like solid you're just yeah. going to play the game and whatever but I was like if I go into this and I run a Zelda for me because I am so much about the experience like I have to be playing yeah. a game if stuff's like Glitching out and popping in where it wouldn't on the Switch. Yeah. I was like, I'll take 30 frames, but 720p. Zelda game Switch. isn't like, something I want to sit around and tinker with. Yes, I can't. I cannot it. do it. But like, if I, like I said, if I came a year later, that's why playing like uh, I, like the Metroid Prime even worked well out of the box. Like when that came out and that Super Mario 3D All Stars, mm-hmm. that was not like glitching out. And I was like, I can play this out distraction. So for me, that's why I went Switch. But it it does drop below 30. When you're using that ultra hand, I have seen some bad drops, but I think what happens is you do get used to it. It, it is not good. I, it, I I think it is dropping. It doesn't really bother me. I, I've had yeah. one time where some where it dropped so low that it actually like I noticed it. Yeah. Mm. But usually it's like it just there's like yeah it kind of. It was making me physically, and I'm not like over exaggerating. It was making me a little bit sick on that first island, that plateau. It mm. got better after that, but I was like getting sick from the frame rate drops. On my TV, I don't know, but sure. I'm with you. The frame rate hasn't been the thing or a thing that bothers me. Really? So I will say, image quality, which I'm not like a big image quality guy, but there are there's a lot. I won't get into everything right now because there's a whole discussion to be had. But there are certain zones. I'll call them types of biomes or areas yeah. Yeah. that I've started yeah. to get into. That I do not like the way it looks. Really? At really? all. Art, art wise? Or I mean, art, it seems like the technology isn't there to do yeah. what they're trying yeah. to do. Yeah. I have a theory. I'll it. say Elden Ring has a, a zone, a space that reminds me of what this game is trying to do. I know, you're, I know what you're it talking is about, like too. Just crap compared. Yeah. I think that's why. I can't say anything else than that. It, when, if, yeah. if we're talking about the same thing. When I, I was looking, I, I'll give you the example. When I booted up the game natively um, on my, my emulator, I didn't yeah. do anything. I just wanted to see what the game looked like natively. Even though it's emulated, it still would represent it almost pretty one in one And I was looking at it, I was like, the thing that instantly stood out to me was Shadows. I don't know if you guys have looked at the shadows. Like they're pixelated. Yeah, they're very pixelated. And yeah, like the trees look like junk. There's a layer of immersion that I really enjoy, 
And um, I just wasn't getting that right away. And yeah. I was like, dang, dude, so, there's no way I can play this game. I will say, I, when I got it up and running, it was dropping too many frames for me to like it and the glitches. Mm. Yeah, it was like, this is how yeah. this game should have looked cool. with the Switch too. That's cool. Uh, what I want to say is, because we're, we're obviously talking about one of the game's weaker points, I did like the idea of going first impressions. Like, yeah. Devin, you played the most. Yeah. Maybe just what are your first impressions? What do you What is sticking out to you good, you know, overall that you like or anything that... To is me, sticking out to you negatively. Yeah, to me, what's sticking out is what Breath of the Wild did so what well, so well. Tears is already doing even better, which is you can get on like a sidetrack away from the story or away from whatever it is you're doing, and then just go down a big rabbit hole. Which like that's what made Breath of the Wild so crazy and like not innovative. Other games have done that, but it just did it in a really easily accessible way. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I feel like with Tears, those rabbit holes just keep going and going. Yeah. And then I find another one, and that keeps going and going. And I have the same problem that all... S there's, what is it, six of the, like, waypoint things you can uh, yeah. put out. I use almost all of them. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, I only that. have, like, one ever spare. Yeah. And then when I do use it... Yeah, I'm, I'm using like, them oh, a lot, I too. I have to do one of these. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I go do that. But then I find more rabbit holes. It is like, smart that they limit it because I have used them up now. You would overwhelm yourself. I did notice though. There's, I think it's an uh, an up from Breath of the Wild. The the stickers you can do or whatever. Yeah, yeah. that you can. They, they had it too. It, but I think you can do you can do like three hundred of them. Oh in really? Tears. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I don't cool. think the limit was that high. Okay. Yeah. No, that's cool. And so you can find all the cockerock cockerocks or whatever yeah. they're called. Yeah. And the so that's what I started doing. Is little like, poo pellets. If I see like a shrine <laughs> way off in the distance, I'll mark it and then I'm like, oh, I'm uh, running low on these. Okay. And then I'll trade it out for like a sticker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready to look yeah. I haven't used the stickers. Back. I'll do that. That is a smart thing they do in this game. Is you mark the map. They don't mark the map for you. And that is. Or at least not until you've gone and like discovered it for yourself. Okay. So, but that's that's my biggest thing because traditionally this type of game is not my game like Elden Ring Skyrim like any of these really big open world games I just like I am into it but then something doesn't grab me in long enough to did you like Breath of the me. Wild I loved it yeah. okay that's right, that's right. Um, I've got like I want to say like 90 80 yeah hours, yeah okay, like so you played the crap out of that I, yeah. I played it a ton and it's and it it's really good that like I can go back like a year after not playing it and then just jump right back in and yeah. find more stuff to do um, and I feel like this is gonna be even better than that because I already feel like I'm getting sidetracked on like I feel like I would be a lot further in the story because that's normally what I stick to is doing the story stuff and I get distracted a little bit but mm -hmm. I keep going down these like pitfalls of not pitfalls but just like little rabbit trails of things to do yeah so that's I'm I'm loving I'm having a great time Nice. You guys didn't play as much as Devin. But no, but I, I. Go ahead, Jacob. I was yeah, out, go ahead. Was yeah. Gonna... So I mean, for my first impression, like I said, I, I said earlier, I booted up the game. I'm a snob, man. I do love open world <laughs> games, though. I, I, yeah. I, they're my bread and butter. I love playing them. I love sinking my teeth in them. I put ninety something hours into Breath of the Wild. I didn't love Breath of the Wild like everyone else. It's a good game. I just didn't yeah. love it the same way. I think my first impression is that this game does everything Breath of the Wild does, but does it better. And it almost is like, when I look at it, I'm like, man, I wish this was Breath of the Wild because now I like this even more. Um, like, I don't I don't have the same feelings I had about Breath of the Wild because I feel like Breath of the Wild wasn't like... It had this idea, like, this is big. That's all it was. Yeah. This is big. They introduced a bunch of systems, but I didn't love the systems. Um, but this was just big. And well, this one's like, this is big, but here's a bunch of tools to traverse it and have fun. And I'm like, okay, you got me. Like, now... Because back in the other one, you had three ways to really traverse it. You run, glide, horse. Here I can build a rocket ship. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I can do whatever I want. I, I can go, I can try going to break the barrier. Um, so I've really, the 10 hours I've been in it, it hasn't been quest. Like, I blew through Breath of the Wild's quest. I haven't done any quest work. I have been jacking around. That's the best way for me to put it. I've been messing yeah. with stuff. And um, it it is for me, though, I had to emulate the game. There was no other way for me to play it. If I was playing on the Switch, I'd be like, this game's terrible. It's probably one of the worst games Nintendo's ever put out. Um, <laughs> just because it's it's inexcusable right now, like, from my opinion. It's inexcusable. 2016, I can give them Breath of the Wild. Like, that's fine. I understand. But the fact of the matter is, in my opinion, it looks worse because they're trying to do more. 
So I just I, like, I think why I was thinking mm. about this, I was like, why was Breath of the Wild okay to us? Because that we did even back then talk about the frame drops and that forest. And all yeah, that. yeah. It, it, it would make me sick in that place at first. And it was like, I think because the concept was so new yep. and having yeah. that like playing portable, I think we just forgave it. You know, well, the art but style like, is really fresh. It yeah, is. The art it style is fresh. Good, great art style. And now in 2023, it's like we're less, I think, a little bit like less past. You know, we've had enough it. time with the Switch where like. This like, is really on. is the farthest this hardware can go. Yeah. Um, but first impression, thumbs up. It's yeah. extremely fun. It's extremely innovative. Um, it does. All, it takes every bit of creativity and all the games that you see in Minecraft, uh, but uh, bolt, uh, bolts and nuts or whatever. Bolts Ban- and nuts. Freaking banjo kazooies. <laughs> That's what they should have called yeah. it. Yeah, nuts and bolts. Uh, <laughs> banjo kazooies, nuts and bolts. You know all the stuff that you could do in those like type of traditional games, and they introduce it into Zelda in such a cool way, in such an awesome way to traverse the world that they've given you. So I'm excited to dig more into it when I have a ton of time. Um, the one thing I will say, and I, I'm not saying this to be like any type of way, there is one thing about the Breath of the Wild series that I hate, like I think ruins the game. It, if, I did play, if I played it without this, I would think this game is a 4 out of 10. But I'm using a mod that makes my weapons not break. Um, so I'm playing oh, the game without no. making my weapons break. <laughs> Because, in my opinion, that that's what makes it... the biggest division of people that play yeah, this game. I think that that I think. that system is the dumbest thing they've ever introduced to Zelda. See, I love it. And no, it's stupid. It's 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 the dumbest thing. It, it forces your hand almost like a survival horror hey, game to like, right play here, it boy. I do not care. <laughs> yeah. Because I work hard to get a weapon. I want to use the weapon. I want to enjoy it. Elden Ring did it amazingly. The only thing I hate about Elden Ring is that you work hard to get a weapon, and then they freaking nerf it. And it's like, why would you nerf this? And so I don't Even know with, to... like, the combat combining items? The combining stuff, items is cool. That gives a lot but more... You know, I was sick oh of it. The, yeah. Oh, he's a sword I really like, and I'm going to put a stone on it just so it stays around longer because now I have a giant stone on it make it like an axe. Like, no, I want to get a sword. Here, I'll give you an example. I did an amiibo drop. I got the Fierce DDD sword. That's one of my favorite swords of all time in Zelda. And I'm sitting here thinking, Which like... Which Amiibo did you use to do that? Uh, the Majora's Mask one. Oh, okay. Um, I got it, and I'm like, this is awesome. And it broke. <laughs> Can you get it back with the Amiibo? It, it's like a stinking... It's like a daily thing, probably. It's Yeah, it's a daily thing. It's like a 10% drop rate. No. <laughs> so I turned that sucker on, and I said, I'm good. I'm going to keep my sword. I'm going to enjoy the game. I'm going to enjoy it. And that's just how it is. So everything else, I'm playing with this. I'm not doing anything else. I'm doing everything else, like, fresh. That's and, funny. But, man, Kenny's been ripping into me. Because he, he's like, you're not even playing the game. Like, you're playing on easy mode. And I was like, dude. Well, I mean, be- that, because that's not what make the game hard. It's just no. Yeah. It's just the game is like you go into scenarios and like things that you're supposed to be scared about because like I can only use this weapon for a couple hits and then I have to switch over. You're just walking in and going. Well, like, I you're do. Just, you're the just combat. Here's a question I for do. you. Yeah, go, oh, ahead. go ahead. Do you? So like you like the Resident Evil games, like you just mentioned, yeah. like where it's like you're low ammo, you're always trying to find stuff. If other Zelda games had been this way previously. Do you think you would like this mechanic more? Um, that's a good question. Because they're not, um, I I have a hard time answering that. Sure. I think because I played Breath of the Wild and I was so sour on that system, that that's what ruined Breath of the Wild a lot for me. Um, that and I also like linear dungeon paths, um, not like open. Sure. So like I had a hard time with it. Where this one, like, they introduced the fusing, which gives you like a bunch of more weapon variety in the sense of like what you said. Yep. But at the same time, like. It just bugs me, and so probably I would say probably, so yeah. because sure. Resident Evil—that's something that bugs me as well. But that's why like, when I play these games, sometimes I'll play it on easy mode first because you get a ton of like weapon ammo. The one thing that I like with the breaking, and I don't know if this was this way in Breath of the Wild, I can't remember. In this one, when your weapon is about to break, when it breaks, it critical hits. Yep. Oh, that I was not that. that way in Breath of the Wild. It was. It? Oh, okay. Well, I, didn't and I don't know that. if it did it actually when you were using it, but. Uh, like if it was about to break, you could throw it. Yeah, and oh, that would be a critical. In, and that's in, in this, this game one. Too. That is in it. I think it's still a critical, even if you just hit. Because like yeah, I'll I shoot my so. bow, and the last shot when it breaks does way more damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So now I almost, if I let's say I got a new weapon that dropped, and I've got like two of this bow, and like one is about to break, and the other one's not. Yeah. Normally, like we'll swap the one that's gonna break. But now sometimes I'm like. Well, it does enough more damage that I've yeah. seen that I'm like, maybe I'll keep the one that's going to break and still yeah. get that extra shot. Because the one thing is, I'm not ever hurting for it. Like, I've got too much inventory space. Yeah. I don't know if they reduced the number of swords and stuff you can They carry. did. They I did. Because I it is did. very limited. Yeah. Well, but that's Zach- what you get the Koroks for, too, is yeah. to expand that. Oh, is it? that's right. That's oh, right. okay. Yeah. Zach? 
Uh, I came into this actually more worried with the graphic stuff, but I was also worried because, um, funny enough, the nuts and bolts thing did worry me because mm -hmm. I played nuts and bolts. I, I love Banjo Kazooie. They put out this new one. Oh, I'm building. Um, why am I building a vehicle for this bear and a bird? Like, I just want to jump on yeah. stuff. You know what I mean? So I was like, are we building stuff? Like, how's this going to work? Okay, whatever. And it is really fun. Um, because that was the biggest thing was like that that is a main system of this game. I, it is built on that building crap. Like everything you do, there's a guy, it's like, hey, I need a sign held up. You gotta build something for it. You get in the shrines, ah, you gotta build stuff. So I was like, if you don't if I don't like this, I'm gonna have a hard time, I think, with this game. And um I am still back and forth on it because when things work and you like put your brain power to it, you're like like when I finally figured out how to make like the the signs not fall for that guy yeah like there's yeah. these little signs like oh, i drop it and it falls and you got to build stuff to make it stand and it can't attach to his sign and it's like once you get it like aha like you get a ha moment and stuff from the shrines you're like that's fun like you're almost like yeah. tinkering around with legos and trying to figure yeah. out puzzles so that side's like it's very fun and then other stuff i'm trying to like i sat there for like eight minutes sitting trying to make this one wheel go on and then I finally was talking to someone they're like yeah you have to like set it up on a wall or on like a weird hill and then you can get the wheels on right because the wheels would always go like I would attach I'd sit there forever oh, and trying to like bury very precisely and it, it would attach up at the top and I would take it oh, off I haven't had and I'd attach issue. on the bottom and I'm like how do I just make it and, it and then once I got on it it just wasn't even a useful vehicle and I was yeah. just like that's where I'm like Ugh, like that's a lot for me but um yeah, I, I haven't played enough. One thing this did also do to me is I, I it, it's kind of intimidating how big this game is, even versus Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild was big, but you had the land and you had the shrines. Mm -hmm. This, you got crap upstairs. Yeah. You got crap downstairs. There's little chasms you can go to. Have you guys went yeah. into the chasms? Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah. It messes I did me that up. last night for the first time. Uh, it yeah, freaks me I up. Discovered it. I, I somehow didn't get that spoil for me. Oh, wow. And the first oh, time I didn't I have a spoil it, either. I heard hints that there's other things you don't know about, and then I was like, "Well, that must be what those are." But yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't have it spoiled for me That's either. That's the space I went down in last night. But I went down like, there, and I was just like, "Is there? We were Elden Ringing it because that was yeah. like they had their own underground yeah. stuff." But it's like we've added a new yeah. Elden Ring with the sky too, and I'm like. I don't know if I, it's coming off of Elden Ring, and that's still f That's more fresh in my mind. I mentioned, and yeah. I'm sitting there, and I'm like. I'm intimidated. I'm like, how it's am I huge. gonna? How am I just gonna do this again? Like, how am I gonna go through a whole another thing? So, it's intimidating me so much. Funny enough, like I would do a little bit. I got a little far in those chasms, and like there's these ginormous, strong creatures down there, and I'm like, gosh almighty! And I'm trying to just get to the where I need to go down there. But funny enough, Devin, you haven't been here, but I've been having a walkathon. We call it Walking Deadathon, mm -hmm. okay. and oh, I've yeah. been so tired this past two weeks that like I've sat down to like want to play Zelda. And I've sat on that couch and I'm like, I think I'm watching Walking Dead because it's <laughs> yeah. like I'm thinking of like I got to build this thing. Like I'm thinking of the work I have to go You're into. You're not alone. I've and, had the same and thing. I'm sitting and I'm there not watching Walking and I have turned on what out of the three times I've had time to like with myself the past two weeks. I was like, I'm watching Walking Dead because it's like I've sat down. I'm like I can't get like mentally in the space. To Lego block my way out of like these yeah. things, I, and that's not a point against the game. It's just a point where I'm at in real life, like yeah. you know. I'll uh, say for me, I don't feel like I'm having to do that too much. Yeah, but I'm also willing to like just walk or like yeah to teleport to something close. I get overwhelmed. Like, I'm like overwhelmed when I'm walking into a space and I see like thirty different things. The and there's a chasm over here, and yeah. then like. That's what they're, teach stickers they're teaching me a new thing. And also, I had the same issue through the hundreds of hours of Breath of the Wild. I'm always, I don't know if you guys had the same problem, I'm always hitting the, the wrong button. Oh, yeah, I'm having to that do issue something. Too. So if I need to change my arrows or change the Ultra Hand, I'm hitting like the weapons button, the whole yeah. button. And I'm hitting that. And that happened throughout all of Breath of the Wild. So now it's happening again with uh, as I'm trying to build like, a why freaking doesn't pulley our brain system. Pick to pick it fix up, like, the yeah. I got to hit this button, not the yeah. other button. I keep hitting the arrow button well, whenever I want to hit the uh, L button. That's what I do, too. That's the only one that I keep doing, but yeah. that's from the last game. Yeah. But well, Travis, yeah. give us your thoughts. Um, I wanted I wanted to not go first. Yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> I gonna... really wanted to not go first. I, I don't, like, want it's a new Zelda game. Yeah. And that's exciting. Yeah. Yep. And Breath of the Wild is top one or two game of all time to me. Yeah. So, like, I don't want to rain on the parade. Uh-oh. 
Oh, a no. stinker over here. I, I'm uh -oh. I'm really struggling with this one. But no, I, I think I'm me and you are. I'm struggling. I'm in the same camp with you almost. And and I'll try to be specific because this is not a bad game at all no and, yeah and i've been struggling like what do i say on this podcast because like yeah. i'm just kind of trying to get a feel i cannot get in a group with this game and yeah. i've been trying and i've thought a lot about it just so you guys know my experience i got off on the wrong foot in the sky island at the beginning i don't know <laughs> oh yeah when i played yeah, yeah. breath of the wild <laughs> there was this invisible hand yeah. i cannot explain it every single thing i did from the moment i walked out was magic it always felt like I'm discovering something yeah, new. Yeah, guided you a little bit. This is bit. natural, and it felt like I was deciding that, where to go. Yeah. But it, but there was. It was intelligently designed to where I never was like, what do I do next? It was always, and kind of what you're describing with this, and I'm glad other people are having that. That is that magic is not in this one for me so far. Yeah. On that sky plateau, I just was following my own, oh, there's that. I see the first shrine of the three. I'm going to go over here. I screwed up the order, yeah. and that is not something I think you could do in Breath of the Wild. And in this one, you can. And I, it was so awkward. I couldn't get down because you don't have the paraglider. I was stuck for like sure. a, two hours one day. Yeah. And then I would be trying to figure out how to do this, and I get down there, and some guy would tutorialize me about the thing I couldn't figure out up there. And I have felt like I've been going up this game's ass the whole time. <laughs> like, I'm going backwards. Yeah. So then when I got to the temp the time temple and I had the little flashback, I do. I am interested in the story and stuff. I think that part's cool. Yeah. I was like, okay, fresh start. I'm going down to the ground. It, the same thing has been happening. It's like I'm doing this and I'm over here and I can't make sense of what is this. And then I get over to this other place and they tutorialize me to death. I don't know about you guys. I've done 27 shrines. You've the done more shrine, than I have. Dude, the wor the worst, like six. The worst shrines in Breath okay. of the Wild were the combat ones, but they're fine. They're just boring. Well, they replaced the combat ones in this one with basically combat tutorials. Yeah. Where they, oh, yeah. they you don't really fight. They teach you. How many thing. of those have you ha hit, though? I swear to God, <laughs> 15 of them have been tutorials. I feel like I only had I've only had four. Like four and, or five. And I've had one. I was getting to the point where I was like, every shrine I go in is like, here's how you throw a weapon. I'm going to teach you to throw a weapon, and then you're going to throw yeah, a weapon. Yeah, I agree and, with you. Even I only like, did one, and, like, and it was this weird. Is crap. In my and, opinion, that's lazy. And yeah. and I will tell you right now, I was finally like, let me go somewhere where I know I'm not going to be getting hit with this crap. And so I went, I found this thing up in the sky. I was like, okay, this is cool. And it was big, but it was kind of awkward. So I'm walking down it, and I walk forever and ever and ever. And I get to the bottom, and this guy's like, oh, this is this thing. I won't describe it if you haven't been there. You're going to do this dive, and it's going to be this whole thing. I was like, okay, yep. cool. And I did it, and I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. And then it unlocked a shrine. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. Like, this is a shrine, like, behind a thing. I go in there, <laughs> dead ass. Another it combat, a combat <laughs> And they're teaching me, and here's the lesson. Shoot an enemy in the head with the arrow. Yeah. That does more damage. Yeah. And I, I said, frick it. And I yeah. threw my controller down. I was like... Yeah. I don't, like, this isn't what I want. There's yeah. 100 shrines or 120 shrines. I don't want you to teach me the combat. You took the worst thing in the yeah. last and made it worse. It, and I don't want to be negative. Yeah. It's not my goal. Because then you guys are playing, and then when that you hit this stuff, you just go, yeah, Travis said this. That's not my goal. I don't yeah. go into things trying to be but negative. No, but no, I hit the same thing because like, even though I did, it, yeah. I only did one or two of those, so you have a lot more experience yeah. with that, but I hit one or two of those, and I was the same thing. I was like, why am I in tutorial in here when the game itself is built on imagination? Yes. You're attaching stuff. Yes. So why am why is yes. it like putting out blocks of text? And I was like, yes. I didn't think it, it put subconsciously. I was like kind of like, oh, but, that's weird. And but there's a bigger problem with this because it's not just in this element. You said something, and I see a lot of people say it, and I would just say I disagree, which is everything Breath of the Wild does, this does better. I disagree because Breath of the Wild it was the magic openness. It was go in any direction, north, south, east, west, yeah. and you will find some. This game is railroading me. It is saying you need to do this. In fact, I skipped these quests because I didn't care, and then I went back and did them, and they gave me things like, well, these were important. Like, yeah. I, you do have to do certain things mm. in order to get the best. Because even now, yeah. they're like, here's the four corners. You really should go to this one first. And everybody I talked yeah. to is like, really go up there. It's really important you go yeah. there. And I was like, and I, I just, yeah, just like online, that's how Breath I wasn't getting was. details, but I was looking, people were like, you really should go to this one first, and hey, yeah, there's these different, I'll call them dragon tears, there's these different things you see on the landscape, 
Yeah. And I did one, and I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And then somebody was like, yeah, you really want to go get this thing? Because they'll tell you the right order to do them in, to get the story. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, this is tainted. This, yeah. this is not, like, what I love yeah. about Breath of the Wild, and I'm having a hard time with it. Uh, See, I really I'm not it. talking about the story when I say everything. It's like, I'm saying in terms of the combat. Um, because I feel like there's a little bit more enemy variety. Yeah. And I don't know how far into it you've gotten, gotten. Yeah. But the enemy variety is a little, lot different. That's great to hear. That's and then hear. number two... Like the uh, ways to combat, the like, fusing, the well, fusing is cool. But the yeah. shield, All, have, have you guys like? I got a shield, the, like the flame shield. And well, stuff no, like that. I, have you done? So I, I'm skateboarding around Hyrule. Is anyone else skateboarding around Hyrule? <laughs> well, you no. can do that, I've seen, you can I've do seen that in the other one. I haven't. No, oh, you can put a wheel on the back of the shield. I bet. No, I haven't thought about you can that put, a, you put a mining cart. cart. I haven't thought about so that. So I put a mining car on my shield and I'm double tapping and I'm just, I'm skateboarding. I'm thought, literally oh, Tony Hawk. I'm thinking of that. That's yeah. Smart. So, like, I don't, and that's. Smart. Those are cool and things. Maybe I, maybe I need to, pl- so that's my other thing. The Zonai devices are cool. Oh my freaking God, this game puts me to sleep. Yeah. I talked to another robot. You need Zonai capsules and Zonai chargers. And you put them in Zonai refineries and they'll give you crystals, but you need 100 crystals and you only have yeah. four. And how do yeah. I get the crystals and I. <laughs> I, God bless, I yeah. want people to like this. I'm trying to, it, it was, I was, I have never fallen asleep playing. Yeah, I don't game. read the text. I, I just keep hitting A. Yeah. <laughs> I have fallen asleep twice playing this game and then been like, what was that thing I need? Where do I get this? And the, I, I like that they're trying that part new because yeah. that's my big critique is, I'm, it feels a lot like Breath of the Wild. But then they didn't differentiate it enough vibe-wise. Like, when I'm running around, it's the same clinky-plucky music. Yeah. It's the same controls. So it's like, is it fair of me to be like, oh, it's not doing it the way Breath of the Wild is? I think so, because everything else is the same. So yeah. I'm having See, a hard time. And you're, on the, you're literally on the yeah. same, like, main continent. Yeah, There's yeah. stuff above and below and that's I a lot different. For the new above and below, I'm the one thing I'm hoping for, because I'm going very negative here, and I don't like dread booting it up, and I'm not, like, playing it like this sucks. Sure. I think there's things to like. I do like the Zonai devices. I like Ultra Hand. Yeah. But the thing I'm hoping is, what I saw one person say is, because I saw other people saying they were having trouble clicking with it. Other people said, Breath of the Wild was magic, magic, magic. And then the further you got, it got very samey towards the end. Yeah, I and I, I yeah. loved Breath of the Wild to the end, but I will say there was a point where it was like, where you get it. I've seen yeah, what I get it, can yeah. be here. Other people said, this game... It feels very samey at the start, and then the more and more and more and more you dive in, sure. the more all the systems compound, and you say, wow, this is crazy. So I've heard this game gets better as you go, hmm. whereas Breath of the Wild, maybe you discover everything you can see. Yeah, and you feel like you've seen it. But I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by I'm all overwhelmed the stuff. I'm overwhelmed, too. And, okay, I see that up there. In Breath of the Wild, when I saw something, I could go to it. I see things, and I'm like, I don't really know how to get to that. Yeah. So it's like taking up visual space, but I don't really know if there's anything I can do about it, it or not. I know you can, I won't get into it. I know there's things, ways you can go up with rocks and things. Yeah. yeah. Have you, um, you haven't really delved into the creation really crazily? No, I did. When I was down in my first depth, they did have like those wings down there. Yeah, those and are I put, cool. I put wheels on it, and then like I was going off ramps, and then I was gliding, and I did really like that. So, but I'm yeah. building something right now, and I'm not, I, I need a few more pieces, but um, when I finish it, it's basically the concept is going to be that I have a, a little hovercraft that spins because mm-hmm. the way I built the turbines, it spins around. I already tested it. So now I'm installing flame shooters on the corners. Sure. So I'm gonna fly around high roll with a flame shooter that's just gonna spin. Yeah, I know there's and hovers. Me. So so here's and I'm I'm and that might be a thing of where there is some fun stuff you can do. It's like aha, I have aha moments. But can you save the I, stuff you make. I, I'm I keeping it in the town and it's there. I but. think you can. I think I saw some. I made something. I saw some on TikTok. I, I, I wish I wanted to be spoiled. Don't spoil. Yeah. I made something. I, I think you can. Scene. I got out of the cutscene and it was gone. I was like, well, this. Sucks. I, I've got like, some like kind of cool stuff. Spo- spoiled for me from TikTok, and one of the things there is some uh, without spoiling it, like something you can't save. Okay, it, what yeah. looked to be, I, I couldn't really. That makes sense. Really, but I've seen that. Like, yeah, Twitter, so. uh, I can't wait to make a tank. But um, that is intimidating to me, and that's why when I've sat down to like play this game, and why me and you are having trouble clicking with it, it's like, do I like? It's kind of intimidating. There's stuff below me. There's stuff up top. I gotta mm-hmm. build crap. 
And the building with an analog stick, that's why I didn't like nuts and bolts. When you're trying to build like 3D model stuff, yeah. sometimes it's kind of annoying. I put the wrong wheel on the wrong thing. Yeah. And I gotta, they do seem to hard snap it. To, they hard and snap I do you. like that. Yeah. I'm learning it's that. It's as good as that can be. Yeah. That, it's all Nintendo about the made it the yeah. best that that can be, but that doesn't save it from you are like watching this 2D thing. You know what I mean? Like trying yeah. to like yeah. move around this 3D with the, with space. Yeah. It's kind of weird at times. So that's been kind of annoying, but... I it's wonder if you be. guys just either just very just happened to take the wrong like you said, which is like a critique to take the wrong path, but like or mm -hmm. maybe I, I just take the wrong like path. I took another, the, that like, was yeah that was I like naturally I naturally float yeah. right, like, left, and back, just, and then I end up the temple. I played for like five hours this morning because um, I'm in town, lucky uh, off work, all this stuff. Yeah, I know. Um, and I discovered um, this really cool cave. Uh, that like I just kept exploring and going deeper and it was awesome and I felt mm -hmm. like but it seems like you haven't had that magic like I yeah. haven't had that magic uh, now I will say the mechanics some of the Altrian stuff has been like ooh this is cool yeah. but it always felt like I was kind of recreating some of the stuff I saw in the E3 demo yeah, yeah. yeah. like sure. oh I can make a boat I saw him make that boat yeah. so, like, it, open, that boat, it opens you know? up but my I'm gonna try I'm wondering if I'm not wired the way you need to be wired. Like, my first instinct is not to go build these hovercrafts. And awesome. Yeah. So, so awesome. Yeah. I'll send you a I, video like, of it. Yeah, out, it's, like, it's a little intimidating. With the wing thing at first, and I was like, I'll put a fan on the back, and it didn't really... Like, I don't know. I, I, yeah. I think you're right. I need more time with it. Um, and that's where I was, I was scared to do the podcast, because this has all been in my head. I haven't even written these thoughts down because yeah. once you start saying this, you start you do you start to build a vibe of what you think about the game. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's a game, and I'll like it or I won't like it. But, but I think that's okay. Yeah. I I love Breath of the Wild. I really wanted to love this, and so yeah. far, it's mixed. Yeah. It's mixed. I, and I'm with you. We're on this path together. Yeah. Is all I'll say. Yeah. But I, I'm gonna keep playing yeah. it. I'll keep playing it too, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't like oh. Breath of the Wild, and I might like Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, uh -oh. I, I, I did have a question for you. Well, you were still saying something. Go ahead and Oh, no, you're fine. You're I saying. was just going to comment something about what you had said earlier about, uh, like, losing weapons and stuff yeah. like that. Uh, that same cave I was talking about exploring this morning, you have to have a certain tool to, like, keep progressing. And it really did a good job of, like, oh, my gosh, I'm about to run out. And then as I was like, I can maybe get one level deeper, and then it would give me what I needed to, nice. to like, keep going. That's good. So, like... Like, I do get it, because that is, like, frustrating, but I feel like, at least in the what I've explored and found, they've mm -hmm. done a good job I of, think like, just giving me what I need to nice. do. So there's, do there's very few things I want to grind. And, like, when I look at Zelda, when I have to grind hard for things, I just, like, man, I enjoy this game too much as a kid to want to grind through. And, like, if it was a linear story, like a sure. triple that I could pick up and let go and just drive through it, that wouldn't bug me. But because it's so open and so vast, and because you, like... If you break something you need, and like let's yeah. say I just did a terrible, terrible job managing it, yeah, that's on me. I'm a bad gamer, bro. I'm too old to be a bad gamer. I don't <laughs> care. Like I'm, I mean, fair, honestly. I want to enjoy it. The like, older I've gotten, I've been the same way. Where like I'm more likely to put stuff on easy mode. Or, yeah, I just want to enjoy it. Coast, yeah. Part part of why, and this will go into a question for you. Yeah. Part of why I feel overwhelmed isn't it's the stuff that's up there and down below. It's also. I have explored this continent. I, yeah. When I played Breath of the Wild, I saw mountains in the distance, and I saw sandy beach-looking things in the distance, and my mind was, what's over there? I don't have that because I know. And, <laughs> and I haven't gone to any of these places yet, to be fair, and maybe yeah, I think they are they so like different changed. than I last saw them, but I know like that village is over there. I know yeah. the Gerudo's over there, and yeah. it's... I'm having a hard time. I've been in that middle area a I'm lot. I'm actually with you on that. And I've yeah. been like, I don't, like, I'm, I'm kind of scared to peel that back because then if I start going to these places and I'm not feeling magic from revisiting them, that's when it's going to get really hard. Yeah. Because it's like, so have you gone into those corners and do you feel like there's, it's not been there, done that. Because yeah. it'd be like playing Skyrim 2. It'd be like if the next Elder Scrolls came <laughs> out. Back and it is, is the back, same yeah. towns. It's like, yeah, they got Except like we a got new some, uh, we got some chasms now. Yeah, yeah I'm my, just having trouble. I don't man. think it's as one and one I don't think so either. It is, but it's not. So, like, I've done one temple. I've done one of those mm. four corners that they give you. Um, I did the Rito one. Okay. And so, like, Rito the town was basically the same but all the areas surrounding it okay is different different and like the like the people were different 
and they didn't keep me there long. Okay. I'll say that. Okay. It, yeah. And, and Sounds like almost like a dark it, world of some of these it, things. You yeah. get like a little bit different, yeah, and varied it way. Yeah. Take me to a new place, mm. which was freaking awesome. That was another one I yeah. discovered it out of order. Uh, where they want to send you, I kind of discovered on my own. Yeah, I don't know. I don't part know where they will kick yeah. against it and say, "I know you keep telling me to go over there. I'm not because uh, yeah. You, yeah. this is supposed to be open." Wait, where they tell you, you to go first? Options. Yeah. I think they told me to go to Reno. I'm That's saying what they say. Oh, I naturally I, just went I there. I actually <laughs> had not have not heard yet, or maybe I just kept skipping I, I, over. I, I don't know what. Say, you know what? I'm not doing. Bro, I'll tell you right now. I'm skipping text left and right. I think you could. I'm well, smashing the, I mean, the A button on the text. If, yeah. That's what they. What I what I meant when I said out of order was like, I discovered where they send you to uh, from Reno yeah. without without talking. Yeah, and then like, but it it tried to stop me. Like it was like, hey. It's really cold. You are going to keep doing damage. I'm like, no, I'm going to progress through. And I found my way through this really cool thing. And then I was like, ah, oh, I can't progress. And then yeah. I went back, did the actual story pieces, and then got back to where I had found. But it was still yeah. really cool. Like, yeah. the where it took me was really cool, really It's new. like handheld Something sandbox. Something not in Breath of the Wild at all. Just returning to this same landscape puts me in the headspace yeah. so i don't think it's unfair to have expectations tied to I, my, that's the risk you take setting it in the same place I, i'm also wondering I, I actually was thinking a lot playing this game about the next zelda because i was like <laughs> oh my god uh, i saw someone say i hope they do a third one here no no, no. well not no. that i'm done i, I wasn't it right i wasn't now. thinking that i was thinking uh, the overall uh, mechanic in, uh, in general i said i might be in jacob's camp because i'm playing this and going Please, God, go back to linear. Please <laughs> yes! make a linear Zelda. Because we've got two very fleshed out between Tears of the Kingdom and, and massive games. You got it. You, you, you won. You know what They're I mean? Like, on sticking with this. Is yeah, just. That's what I've heard. Is cash out and, and let's do linear. I may change linear. my mind. I may continue. I am open. I am not hard on this is the way I feel. I have not gotten into the meat of the game. I've basically I just done missed, the middle. I miss the days of like. You get a, unlock a boomerang, the hook shot, you know, like you're gonna laugh at that. Go ahead. Well, it's just like those kind of things, like those things, like I'd, if there was a hook shot in this game, I'd be that giddy. That was my biggest thing coming out of Breath of the Wild was <laughs> yeah. in a sequel. I'd love if they bring back some of those items and let me traverse it. You get to build your own hook shot. It sounds like. And maybe you do. <laughs> and maybe I just need to wait. Get to make your own Conka's game. If we get to the end of this game and I still don't have a hook shot, I'll be with you. I'll be like, where is um, it? You know, you know, you know. I was gonna say you're gonna laugh at me. I was like, maybe this isn't the right game for me right now. I have Skyward Sword on the Switch. I thought about booting it up. I was like, <laughs> but that's I, I, I love like Skyward it. Sword. My on the Switch, I, it's good. I hour with my brother, and I was like, this I is actually it. fun. Yep, I, I agree. Maybe this game yeah. will. This game is gonna hurt me so much. I'm gonna go. I, I love Skyward Sword. <laughs> <laughs> it was Skyward Sword so kind of good. Anyway, I yeah. Uh, that's why I wanted to wait to go last. Sure. I didn't want to. Bring on anybody's parade. So yeah, I'm a hard time. I, I want to but give I'm glad this. You're, it. you're giving me hope. I got to. I want to give this game a more fair chance. I do need to sit down with it, but every time I've wanted to boot it up, I play. You I've, cannot sit I've down and play this dead. for an hour. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, have to commit to two to four. Extremely busy and yeah, you have lot, to commit so. almost it two could, to four. It, every I wish time. if every two to four hours every time we sit down. I'm just being honest. Like it, kind it kind of is. I've been playing in little chunks because I've been traveling, staying with my in-laws, doing stuff with family, you guys. So like. I'll play it a little bit at a time, but I do definitely love when I get to just sit and like. Because you, so you have yeah. to take it in. Last night was yeah, the first yeah. time since my first night with it that I did really get. I played for about four hours, but you asked to hang out. I said no, and I was going to play Zelda. <laughs> I ate and some Indian food, and my goal was I started at like eight, seven, eight, and I was like, I'm playing. Jess is out. I'm playing until she gets home. I'll be up late. I at ten forty five I was dozing off playing it. Yeah. And I kinda stopped and I was like, I'm just gonna go to bed. <laughs> I I planned to just play this, but I, it was not keeping me yeah, like, that's fair. on. Yeah, I understand. I, I, I blocked the time. Yeah. It didn't yeah. like yeah. it's hard. So. I, I I've was done tired, that too. So maybe. But I also just fall asleep very easily. So yeah, I, I don't I don't think this is a game. Maybe for I'm just me. getting old is, you know. <laughs> that you know. meant that it yeah. may not be the game. Tears of the Maybe Kingdom might have be the first Zelda where it's like life is really pushing against. So busy. I think yeah. that's some of it. So that now we're just getting like old guys I'm, yelling yeah, here. I, I've yeah. been but I think most of my play been... sessions have started at ten thirty at night. Yeah. yeah, but and, and I think part two of it Maybe is that. I think coming out of like Metal Gear Solid Five, Elden Ring, Skyrim, like this Breath big long stretch of open world games. This one, along with, hey, 
you gotta build your own ship. And, and there's stuff down here. Are you gonna get the stuff down here? And guess what? You could go up now, but do you have the right to build? Uh, and, and like, I'm, that has, I think, hit a crux where I'm like, I really want linear. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, yeah. And I think I'm open worlded out. And people have been saying that for years, but this was the one that finally broke me where I'm like, I gotta build stuff and go up and go it's bottom and go down here. And it's like, it, yeah. I wish this game would have came out in the winter. Maybe I would have felt differently because like Elden Ring came out in like the winter. Uh, it, yeah, uh, the time of year. Breath here, of the Wild came out worse. March, shows earlier in spring. So it's like, this came out of a time where but it's could like. Could it be? Because like Breath of the Wild was I, I March. Had, it was March. It was March. Yeah. yeah. March is so different than May. Yeah. It is so different. Yeah. Okay. You got married this month. Like, <laughs> hey, to be fair, I haven't had a lick of time this week yeah. as much as I would. I came home Monday and thank God, and I'm not, I, if you watch this, I love you to death. She took a nap. Nap, and it was like a five hour napper and so I just sat down and just dove in I texted yeah. her I was like hey Zach I need this like I'm, I'm like my <laughs> we skin needed is this. It's we itching needed this. you know and so I just started digging in but I haven't had time I haven't touched it since yeah. Wednesday yeah. I haven't touched it because I haven't had time I think that it's that and it's I also, a lot of stuff I against also it. think I will say I was this type of game I don't know that I can do it annually I think that's what I'm learning I would classify Metal Gear Solid 5 Breath of the Wild Elden Ring and this I don't know if there's any other. They're open world, but they're so all-consuming. Yes. Yeah. I'm good for one of those every three years. Yeah. I'm not good every year. Yeah. yeah. That's why and I so can't stick with like an Elden Ring or something because yeah. it literally is all-consuming. Elden Ring was last year, right? But Elden Ring yeah. was last year. Yeah. So Elden Ring, I get that. Coming off of Breath of the Wild five, four or five years before, I was ready. Yeah. And I think Elden Ring like Elden Ring satisfied me, and so now yeah. I'm like. You don't have the edge. I'm diving in. I don't have that. You, yeah. Edge. Well, the moment when they said I you can go, just wait for the, the moment too. when they like, said yeah. you can go so down in the chasms, I went. I did this last year. Yeah. Talking about Elden Ring, I just, <laughs> I just did that. And my next thought was, an Elden Ring ceiling looked better. <laughs> and, that, yeah, and that was my thought last night. He's not. Thought, yeah. Well, I'm kind of backtracking a little bit, but I've been thinking about this, like, because we've talked about emulation and graphical fidelity, blah blah blah, and stuff. At one point, I'm pretty sure they all but confirmed they were working on like a Switch Pro yes. or a Switch 2. Yeah, yeah. But then there was so much smoke, there was something there. And then there. with lockdowns and COVID stuff and restrictions, like that got canceled. And so I think that's part of why we're seeing so many of these issues. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be shocked if we have a backwards compatible. Next oh yeah. Perhaps they on. were building all these systems. It's coming. I bet yeah. you're right. With the with the Sky stuff, with that in mind. That yeah. that was going to be ready it, it by now. It is a miracle this game runs on the Switch. Because <laughs> how long is it? It's been six years of development. I bet they already planned out and said, okay, Switch 2 is going to be ready by then. And then they found out, oh, what's COVID? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I bet yeah. some of that and stuff just no with mesh didn't mesh well. And that's why they yeah. probably also waited so long to give any hint of story. Absolutely. Because yeah. I was nervous about this game until that first, like, story trailer came out a you know, month or two ago. Yeah, that yeah. was a good trailer. As soon as that happened, I was like, okay, and, I'm excited for this game now. And there's a lot they really showed in that I haven't even seen. Me too. Yeah. So there's plenty, 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 plenty. So me and Travis through. are going to update next time. Good These time. guys seem like they're really digging it, but we need yeah. to, I don't want to unfairly judge it either. We'll give it, you'll, you'll, you'll hear more of it in the coming month. Yeah. You have time. Yep. So Jacob had to leave everybody, but uh, he had to go play Tears of the Kingdom. He, we talked about it so much. He was like, "I'm out, guys." He just had so, to. He had to. Uh, one role. I had him shaking. His faith in the game was shaking. And he yeah, was like, and he was to, like, I have, to leave. "I have to. I have to. I have to." I really don't like. I don't like saying negativity. Like I'm with that. you. I'm the same way that I like to go last. Well, it's better to not just be all positive. What did What did I crap so. on before? And I went last, and we, it was a game. Was it? I it might have been a movie or something. We watched. might have been a something. movie we watched. And I let you guys That's go first because, like, I don't want to crap on it. It was Doom. It was you Doom. Hated Doom. I hated and Doom. I loved it. And that's why I was like, I oh, want to go last. I remember that because yeah. I was in town for that too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're just here for the I'm only crappers. here for the stuff where you guys Devin's have the, yeah. different. Yeah. The, the <laughs> Reaper of somebody's gonna hate. This We're gonna thing. get suspicious. Whoever wants to go last, don't you want to go? Don't you want to speak? You speak. <laughs> why, do, why do you not? Know why, why, you need to go first. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I was gonna say. When I got time that first night when it came, I was like, "Because you have to play a Zelda game when it comes out. Oh, yeah. The first yeah. day it comes out, it's like it's like a, a ride passage because these don't come around like Assassin's Creeds or uh, <laughs> yeah. freaking Forzas. They're like every six, seven, <laughs> eight years. So it's like I got to play it. I grabbed. Uh, we had extra like two extra beers in our fridge. Like I ne we don't ever have like alcohol like in the in the house. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm gonna drink these, play the new Zelda, and I drink, <laughs> and I'm a little tipsy." And I'm trying to build this freaking boat. 
I'm trying to build this boat, and I'm putting. I don't. I don't have the the the, the what are those called on the boats? The, the the you hit a, or the fan? No, the fan, yeah. yeah. I don't really know how those work yet. And I attach them, <laughs> and I'm sitting there, and I send it in the group yeah, chat, me <laughs> cackling. I took a video because I'm already, like, having trouble building this stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm building that it. That cracked me up more than and, anything, because they showed <laughs> it in the trailer. They showed yes, it. and, and, and I... It's the first thing you can build, and you're just like... <laughs> and, and I'm like, I, and I'm looking at the, I remember that in the trailer. I'm like, you build this, you put it at the back, you hit it, and it moved forward. You so should I did, edit that. I did edit that. thing in the trailer, and <laughs> I, the demo, I and made it. So it. I'm sitting there, a little tipsy, I'm, I'm feeling good, and I put that on there. I attach it, I build my little log boat, <laughs> And I hit it, and I'm screaming, and I'm spinning in circles, and I am cracking up because See, I'm losing my mind. Because before that, I walk up, I'm already pissed off at those robots because they're like, you need a hundred on the Zobart things, and you need the Zobarts for the Scions, and I'm like, what are you saying? I don't like that. Uh, that's uh, that's I, I, gibberish. I cannot understand. Yeah, it's gibberish because like I don't know what those are yet. I'm be dense. Yeah. So, just, no, and, I, I skipped through a lot of that. No, and I too, got yeah, onto the before I got on the boat. Yeah. So I'm already trying to figure this stuff out. I I'm like, okay, I need to build. It says like you know I can I can attach to log. I go up to the log, try to pick it up. Both robots look over. You can't pick up these logs. <laughs> yeah. You need to pick up they the two other logs. logs. You're not supposed to and up. I drop it, and I'm sitting there. I'm like, that's really, really cool. I just stare at the team. It's like, very cool. I, I tried to pick I up. Like, they were like, these, these things you pick up in the mines, they do this. I was going up. You can't have that one. <laughs> 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 Who made that decision? Oh, my gosh. For a game well, that, I like. I knew I screwed up because that tutorial, you know, you go across the water. I was like, okay, I'm coming through. It's been a little clunky. I got down to this thing, and I was like, okay, wait a minute, this is familiar. Oh, this is the tutorial thing. I'm on the wrong side. Yeah. I came down on the yeah, other side of way. where all the materials are. Yeah. And I didn't have a paraglider. There was no way out, and yeah. I couldn't climb. I so I had to go climb up to an awkward place and cut other things down. I, I, was, on, I was like, oh, I know I'm doing the wrong thing right now, because... In the E3 video, he was on the other side. Yeah. He was going to the boat. <laughs> and the wind is blowing this way. So, like, I had to do all of this ridiculous yeah. stuff to get, to get around. I mean, to the game's credit, I was able to do it, but it felt like I was going the wrong well, way. Well, I, I had heard recently, I don't know who was talking about or saw it online, that I guess this game was one year just in polishing and playtesting. And it shows, because there's just, no glitches. Yeah, just to I try to fix no it. No. Yeah, no issues so far for how many crazy things could go potentially wrong. Uh, but, yeah. uh, yeah, that was my last story was I was kind of tipsy trying to play this and it was like, I put in the group chat that gif of all of the equations popping up. That's what it <laughs> felt like playing this game. I was doing like freaking algebra. I was like, yeah. how do I do this at that time? My, my only other, and then we'll pivot off of Zelda. My only other question is to me, like with a new Zelda game, Zelda to me, music is a huge part of it. Yeah. Ocarina of Time. All yeah, of I want to know your thoughts because I think you mentioned that. And earlier. I was telling that said, main theme is incredible. It, well, yeah. Ba, da, ba, da, da, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that is great. The little like when we saw the trailer and he's running around and it's like the little place with the horses. Yeah. And it's the same like village theme and the same clink clink clink. I was worried. Now that I'm playing it, I'm still worried. Like, <laughs> yeah. it is the I same feel like music. I it's been better, honestly. The music is, there are spots where it's new when you're on the yeah. Sky Islands, I've noticed. The depths, obviously, is new It music. sounds similar enough to where, yeah, I can't it, tell no, too it, much it, of a it difference. It is the yeah. same music, and it sends me back to that headspace of the Breath of the Wild. You know, I just, I wish they would have done, like, you had six years, like, you couldn't have the music guys, like, do some more yeah. like, new stuff. I don't, I don't feel like it's been too bad. Maybe okay. I haven't... Uh, that's like been the least of my concerns, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But too. like, the the when there's been new music, I've been like the new music's really good. Into it. Yeah, it's I've good. Loved it. I agree. But I think maybe I'm just. I don't know. You're hard on it, dude. I'm hard on it. Wow, well, I think hey, I'm gonna unfollow you on Twitter. It now. is the sequel to the best game of all time. So. You're hard yeah, on it. It had a big so it's shoes hard. to fill. It's yeah. hard. You're hard on it, and Devin's hard about it. It's hard about it. What can I say? Um. Well. That's the only thing I've had. Any that time is to me play. too. I played a little bit of Vampire Survivors. <laughs> Devin, have you played any games? No, no. Well, I mean that this, was a huge dial. The other game so. I was playing, and I really wanted to try and finish it before Zelda. tears and it didn't happen, was last month. Uh, Mega Man Battle Network Collection came out. Oh, okay. And this was a. It's. It is kind of like a cult classic. Like yeah. a lot of people skipped out on it because 
it totally breaks the formula. Of it's a card regular, thing, isn't it? Kind of. Involves it's cards? Their, yeah, they're like battle chips is what they're called. Um, but it's essentially, I mean, it was ahead of its time kind of to a degree. They came out in the early 2000s. They were all Game Boy Advance games uh, where you play as Lan Hikari. Uh, he has a, a navi called Mega Man. And, like, you jack into the net and you send your navi off to, like, travel across the internet and, like, do battles and stuff like that. And, like, I never played Pokemon as a kid, but so to me, these Mega Man games were my Pokemon. Mm. It's oh, the that's way I cool. always describe them. That's cool. Because you collect chips, you fight other people. That's what me and my friends growing up had the link cables, and we'd battle each other on our game boards oh, okay. and stuff. Like, um, so I was super excited. I've been excited for this for like a year. They announced it. How many games does it have summer. in the collection? Um, six. Cool. Six, There's six right. Battle Network games? There's, well, I mean, if you really, depending on how you want to count, it's closer to. Twelve. Oh my god. Are they because short like there was regular like four. Mega Man games? Or are they no, longer? they're they're long. They're like ten ish, ten to fifteen, because okay. they're they're advanced games, but they're they're RPGs. Yeah. Um, the first two were just Mega Man Battle Network and Bell, Battle Network Two, and then from three to six, they did the Pokemon thing where they had three was blue and white, uh, oh, four was uh, I, red I do sun remember that. And whatever. I didn't know. What's that. the um, what's your favorite one? Um, I I have always said three. Uh, three blue is what I had growing up as a kid, um, and then I had all the ones after that. But I actually decided to start on four because anytime I've like played with emulators or whatever, and I like try to boot that up, I always played three blue, and I was like, I've done this so many times over the years. I want to do one that I haven't played probably in literally fifteen years, yeah, um, or longer. Uh, so I played four, and I got maybe eight hours into it. And I was loving it. It's a really, like, they're kind of, e playing them as an adult now, yeah. it's like, the, it's not as, I remember beating the first boss in the game when I was a kid, and I was like, oh, I think I just beat the game. <laughs> yep. And it was like, oh, I actually I remember barely, those it barely moments. started. Yeah. Game Boy Advance um, was a special, like, system for me. I had played yeah, a lot of too. my first games on there. Yeah. So you're a Mega Man fan. Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, I'm more of a Battle Network fan than, okay. than I did play a lot of those uh traditional Mega Man games as a kid, but, like, not all the way through. And yeah. Like I didn't, like, have a big collection of them or anything. So. Well, you just reminded me, because I thought I haven't played anything else, but I did. On my Steam Deck, I got the Mega Man collection, because I never played them, Which ever. Which the original? The original. Oh, so I've yeah. never played any of them. That and so the... I got that, and I've been playing through the first one. Nice. And I'm at the end. I thought I was, I thought I was done, because I beat the sixth. Uh, yeah, guy. and then and then this guy popped up in the middle, and I yeah. was like, "Oh, okay, so I gotta fight this guy." Funny enough, that's how I beat my first the first time I beat one of those Mega Man really? games. The, I had that collection on the 3DS. Yeah, and I I beat the first one that way. You know, I like that collection, the one that's on Steam, and I am enjoying it. They got good music. Yeah. I mean, Mega Man One is kind of just a whatever NES game, sure. but I'm having fun with it, and it's got two through six yeah. on there too, which I've heard are great. But uh, the Mega Man uh, collection that I have. It has that rewind, so I oh just gosh. when I die or something, I'll, even if I lose health, like ah, I'm rewinding this, yeah. and that's been a great way to play that. So mm. I don't have to restart over and over. I it's almost not bought hard games. Well, yeah, I almost it's bought. Really hard. I was liking it enough, and it's short. I was like, I'm gonna play through all of these. That's a fun little thing. They're like yeah. four hours each, but I was about to buy the second Mega Man Legacy Collection with yeah. like seven, Three, eight, nine, uh, and ten. Uh, yeah, but I didn't, and I'm glad I didn't. Those ones don't have the rewind. Which I was like, why would That's you... That's a very Capcom <laughs> thing to why, do. Yeah, and then I, I was like, reading, and apparently yeah. they've done Mega Man Legacy, Legacy 2, X Legacy, X yeah. Legacy 2, and now Battle Network Legacy. Yep. But the, all of these ports, like, people were talking about, well, these ones have these features, these ones don't, these ones, they all are different. And I was like, yeah. if you're going to release these, they all came out in the last couple of years, yeah. if you're going to do all these, why yeah. would you? But yeah, that's, the, Capcom was what Paper Phil said. Is yeah, that, they that just sounds handle like each, a Capcom thing. They handle each package like it's its own mm. thing. So these ones have the rewind. So I'm going to play through the ones I own, and yeah. if I really like them, I'll check out those others. But. What's kind of cool about this one, it doesn't have like a rewind per, or like a, like a save state thing per se. What they do have, um, so like brief context, when you're in a battle, um, it's you have a 3x3 three three grid and your enemy has a 3x3 three three grid. So it's, you know, what, 6x3, whatever. Um, and you can run around in those spaces while you're waiting to be able to load in new chips. Okay. Uh, when you're in that space, you have like his regular buster, like from all the other games, where you just like shoot. Yeah. But it only does like one damage, like it's really weak. Uh, but they have a mode if you're trying to just speed through the games or you're stuck. 
they call it like max buster mode or something where it does like a hundred. I love that per. feature and like the Final Fantasy used to do that too. Yeah. yeah. It's so like, like sometimes it's I've only, I've not really used it, but um and maybe I will when I decide to finally go back and play it, which I don't know when in the world that's gonna be. Yeah. Um <laughs> I, I notoriously never buy games on launch because I know I'm gonna take years to play them. Yeah. The only two games I wanted to do that that I have on my list come out back to back was the Mega <laughs> and, and then uh Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. But Man. So I'll go back to that eventually, but nice. um, me and then my brother-in-law, he, uh, me and him, he was the one that I played with as a kid, um, oh, cool. and so he played three, and he liked almost 100% of it. He oh. Got, uh, nice. Yeah, so he, it's been really cool to, to play that. I'd like to, I'd like to mess, I'm not going to play necessarily all these, I'd like to mess around with these OG Mega Mans. The X series always look cool to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like I, the I look of those. I'll try, one of those. I'll try one of the Battle Networks, because yeah. I've heard great things, and I like GBA games. Yeah, so. pick, if you're coming in fresh, and you're like not really dedicated to the system, pick one of the later. Okay. Like four through six. I'll pick your brain when I get there. Yeah, but, but um, and for a while, too, I never really did this. There was like a, like a, kind of a cult following, like, online uh, battling community of people that played. Really? They played, like, a ROM hacked version, but all it did was, like, let them, like, play online, like, with a link cable. So there's enough and depth to the combat that you could do some... people still play it, yeah. Oh, like, that's cool. There's a whole, like, big subreddit of people that have been playing it for years and oh. years. And I won't play against them. <laughs> no. Well, and honestly, I got that it on the me. Switch because I was like, oh, I want to play with my with my brother-in-law. Like, yeah. we'll do online battles like we did when we were kids. We ended up... <laughs> one, picking different versions to play to start out with. Uh, but then, two, like, the more I'm into it, I'm like, this is just a fun, like, easy story. I'm never going to play online. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pick it up on Steam or just get it over. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, cool. That's fun. Yeah. We both played some Mega Man. Didn't even realize right. it. I poisoned myself. That's right. I'm ready for the story. We've been doing house renovations. We finally came to the closing of the, the major, major stuff. We're done for a while. And our bank account's done for a while. But <laughs> my body was almost done for a while. Uh, so there is, like, down here in this basement area, there's a utility room. And the flooring, because we got, like, this, you might see this wood flooring, oh. I don't know, whatever. You have to get, uh, it kind of slopes down. There's a drain in some of these basements um, for the water and stuff, so they're not even. You cannot do, like, hard plank or carpet or whatever. You have to do either this fricked up tile that was in there, this old ugly tile, or you can do epoxy. And you might see, you might have seen this, and you might have them in your own garage at home. That's what they're mostly used at. Um, you can put this like layer of epoxy. It looks amazing. It looks really good. So I was like, I'm going to do that in there. Well, I have done this. I, it's a two-person job because you have to have somebody spraying it. It dries so quick, and if it dries, you're fricked. It's so sticky, and it, it becomes a mess. So you have to have somebody pour in this and spread it out. Me and my contractor are in there working on this, and we're in this. We're downstairs in a basement. I've done this in a garage with the door open. Yep. And you get out, and then by the end, you're outside the garage, and you can kind of close it halfway, and you leave it overnight and let it dry. This is the first time I've been into a very enclosed space in my basement. <laughs> there is one window, um, and not a lot of air can escape out of the basement. So we're down here, hands and knees, putting it on. Start pouring it. I'm going, whoo! He's like, yeah, this stuff's strong. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's surprised. strong. I'm surprised he didn't, like... Well, yeah. I, this dude is the same dude when he was sanding. I was like, do you... He was sanding down here. We had some other renovations going on. There is sawdust. You can't even... It's like a cloud. And I'm like, you want to you wanna mask? I have a mask up here if you need it. He's like, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, some of these contractor guys have, like, stuff in their brain, like, sawdust in their brain. You know what I mean? Like... They're breathing all Man, sorts of stuff. Strong. Yeah. Breathing. So he's like, "Yeah, it's a strong," and I'm like, "Yeah, it's really strong." It, it, I, the only way I can explain the smell to you is like if you open up fresh can of paint, and it's like you know, there's a, yeah. there's a whiff to it. There, the smell of fresh paint. Up that by like three or four times oh, that, that spring, oh, and I'm smelling. I'm like, "Wow, it's strong. Whew, it's strong." We're pouring it. I'm like, "This is this is sharp. <laughs> this is sharp." Gosh, this is sharp. But we get through. I'm not like passing out or anything, but I'm like, I can just smell this so much still. And then we're putting it on, layering it out. This is strong. Yeah, it's strong. This is, this is strong. Get all done. He leaves. I go upstairs. I start, I'm doing something else. I still smell it. I'm like, man, I can, I can still smell that. 
I'm like, is there, is there still smell down there? And, it, and the whole basement is just filled with that smell. So I'm like, and there's an exhaust fan. I had to like get a fan to like suck air into this uh, room and build a, I had to kind of tears of the kingdom it and get <laughs> the wind to go so, out there. Hey, this is why uh, you didn't want to play tears. Yeah, because I've done it. And I go back upstairs and I'm still working. I'm like, still smelling. I go to bed that night. And I'm like, why do I, why do I still smell? I go outside. I could still smell it. Oh, <laughs> Meaning no. like, oh, it's like in here. So I'm like, is this in my nose hairs? I get soap, I put it on a tissue, I'm sticking it out my nose, I'm like rubbing it in there, I pull it out, put water, I'm, I'm getting stuff up in there, I still smell it. And I'm like, uh, do I just smell this now? And I start looking up and they're like, you're supposed to wear a mask when you're working on this. <laughs> now, I've always been fine before because I've been in a garage. I think you're, uh, you're yeah. probably fine doing it out in a garage. Doing it in an enclosed area, a very small area yeah. oh, uh, that we were in, dude, I go overnight, I still smell it. I, this, and you know what? I was telling people, I was like, it wasn't, because people were like, oh, it's in your nose hairs. Uh, you know, just wash it out. And I was like, I did that like three times. I think it was in the mucuses of my brain. Like, it was <laughs> It was back in here. Is All I can explain is like the freaking, like, my soul. It was like stuck oh, to my soul. It imprinted on you. It imprinted on me. I smelled it for three days. It was in like everything I smelled. And the, way, around, like, dizzy, the, the way the way I could uh, it did disorient. I read online because Chelsea was like, "Yeah, it sounds like this can mess you up." And I was looking, and people because I didn't get any work done after that happened. I couldn't even do anything. Like I was trying, <laughs> trying to edit and trying to do this other stuff, and I'm like, I was kind of freaked up. And I read online, they're like, "It it can lead to like." Um, some nausea or inflammation and like this or uh, like fatigue. It was like fatigue, no, um, inflammation or like, um, what was it? Like, like fogginess, like or, fogginess or, or, or like oh my God. confusion. So I was, freaked, I was freaked up. And uh, so, it, and what it kind of felt like with my sinuses kind of trying to breathe is like, you know how like you go outside and it's kind of cold and you breathe in through your nose, it's kind of sharp. Yeah. Imagine after three days, it would just come about Oof. like in and out just sometimes. Ugh. Along with paint just stuck into Ugh. your like soul, so don't do that. Please wear a mask Good, if you're uh, inside. Uh, for safety no announcement. Public yeah. safety yeah. announcement. But like looking online, wow. it's like people are like, so if you need to do that, get like the gas freaking mask ones. Like oh my Oof. gosh, that's, that's uh, uh, freak me up. That's a yeah. good tip. Uh, I'll end I later if with your the bad. Contractor's okay. <laughs> He was fine. I I I, I texted him. Like, I, I've been smelling that I bad think stuff it. For years. I think it was something like that because I texted him. I was like, the next day, I was like, dude, I'm still smelling. He said first time. <laughs> he basically was. I said, dude, I'm still smelling this. I text. I texted him. I said, dude, I'm still smelling so the epoxy. It, and he said, yeah, it was strong. And like, and I'm like, yeah. I'm like, man, this is stuck in my soul for three days. This is not good. And he didn't say oh anything, so I think he's done that kind yeah. of stuff as he's, a lie. He just knows. That's what normal is. This, this is it's just gonna be real short. This is the same contractor who down here in the basement, I have a full like vintage old pool table. These things weigh the the, the weight of the moon is the, the the weight of these pool tables. And when we were trying to redo this flooring in here, I said, "How am I gonna move this?" You know, and he's like, "I'll oh, just pick it up." And I was like, "There's no way. It's like the sword <laughs> and the stone." Like. Yeah. I cannot move it. I, I was like, I put everything in, I did into this. It cannot move. You can't move it. And he was like, no, you just pick it up. And I'm like, you can't. I, it's just, it really, I can't even budget. He walked over to it <laughs> and picked it up. And I'm like, I couldn't believe. Like, it took a year off his life to do that. I think it had to. And um, sure enough, video. and I don't know if you know this or whatever, He's like, yeah, just move it over and I'll finish half and get a couple of your buddies, whatever. And I was like, once I saw it's possible, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna need like three guys to be you <laughs> to get the power of one contractor. And so I got Kenny and Adam came over here. Yeah. Two grown men, two strong men, and me. And what they did is like, I put these sliders on there and got like, I put cardboard and moved it over. It took two of them using all the strength going. Actually, when they first started, they said, we can't do this. And I saw, <laughs> I said, 
I saw one man do it with himself. <laughs> <laughs> so Funny, little girl. those two guys, way stronger than me, Dude. freaking lifting oh their God. full strength Dude. in me, and that guy that didn't have epoxy poison. Some it was of like, those contractors. Dude. It's all. It's just. It's contractor strength. Contractor I don't know, it, strength. It is, yeah, that's a, that's a uh, real thing. And, and, and I know like some of his family, and they said like, dude, like his strength is like he's had to do stuff. When I had to move kitchen Min stuff up, <laughs> <laughs> I had to move kitchen stuff upstairs. <laughs> And he used his head to lift the the inside of the cabinet because it's so heavy. And I was like, he was like, oh, we need to move this. And I was, he was like, can you get the bottom? I was like, I can get the bottom. And I was like, how are you gonna move it from there? And he's like, I'll just put my head into it. So he's using his skull <laughs> and kind of like used his spine and like. Oh my god. Yeah, he took a year off his life doing this job in here, but got it done. Just killed a man. That's good. <laughs> Took a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And That's a good story. Death, but I'm glad that you're at least uh, recovering a little bit. Yeah, I'm, I'm You know what now. gave me epoxy poisoning? The PlayStation yeah. showcase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that yeah. was so funny because I yeah. was. I had the same thing. Yeah. I, I streamed, you streamed it. it. You can check out our... Uh, I, stream- I did. I caught, I caught some highlights. I streamed it on our, our, our channel. You can check alert. that out. I was... <laughs> I was that. I was to a point too. I was like, all right, not my game. And then when it showed Square Enix and it showed like something, and I it, and it started doing like another for the 15th when squad six base. People walk out with different colored yeah. clothes. Yeah. <laughs> when like, I see and six people, in a monkey mask. And yeah. Like, I want to die. Like, yeah. Oh it's all God. squad based shooters. So when they when Square Enix popped up and then it had the same thing with th- six guns, I was like. Squad base shooter, it's online, and I, I was get, I, I, you can see the tiredness of my face in the stream. But there was some cool stuff I was interested in. Um, namely, there was. oh yeah, there was namely cool the big, you know, uh, the big announcement, which was Metal Gear Three remake, which we've heard rumblings about for quite a bit now, but we finally got to get confirmation of it. I'm nervous about that. I am too. I'm nervous. We don't even know who's making it. I yeah, I've heard people. Accept, <laughs> I think it's just, I think it's just Konami, isn't it? Is it Konami? I heard it's. I thought it was I heard, Konami. I heard Konami's Konami is involved, and there's this team that does ports that's involved. Mm. If it was Blue Point, I'd be like, yeah, they if could it was figure Blue it out. Point, I'd be jumping up and down. And yeah, they could figure it out. Yeah. But we don't know that yet. We don't know I'm who's ready doing for it. more Metal Gear, so I'm going in with an open mind. Uh, I am very optimistic, like cautiously optimistic, because Kojima's not involved with it. I've only played Kojima involved Metal Gear. That's what I was gonna say. What's well, a not? What's new... what's a not Kojima involved? Yeah, it, it's not a new one, but at the same time, it's like, how are they gonna frick this one? Because all I can think is like, how are they gonna frick it up? Because like, I'm not thinking how they're gonna make it better, but yeah. uh, I don't know. Um, Did you have a sense that that's what it was gonna be as they were going through the jungle and stuff? I had a feeling. When... I, I said I called it on okay. stream. Cause at first I didn't know. It but... didn't have the Kojima style cinematic to it, so yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. But I was like, this seems like kind of like Eastern European Russia. Kinda. Yeah, yeah. I did. I, I was able to call it, but uh, uh, we'll wait and see. Reveal. We'll wait and see. And it's cool. Actually, I got more excited. It's funny. Like, oh, there it is, Metal Gear Three. But then when they said the. Freaking ports of the old ones are like, Whoa. oh yeah! I got, I got more. I got more excited, even though it's something we can play everywhere. But yeah. why I was excited too, I was like, well, that's cool. It's coming to PS5. You can play it. Awesome, easy way to play it. it said part one. But yeah, but then when I went back after the stream was over, I was like, oh, that says volume one, guys. I was so like, volume two. I said is... that. I said that is Peace Walker, Portable Ops, and Metal Gear Solid Four. It's, it's got to be four. It's got to be. You those... can't say yeah. volume one and then do a volume yeah. two and not have. And th- Metal yeah. Gear Solid Four oh, famously man. has been stuck in PS3 purgatory for that was ever. The, that was the most yeah. exciting thing about they that. They just now, because of the way PS3 emulation has been, I think in the past two years, finally got it to where you could play it in a, yeah. a great state. So. Let's put it on PS5. So that is going to be a big one when they can finally port that. I, I would love, I would love to play a 4K yeah, version of that. that long, long and I hope they port that to 4K on PS5. I, I like how it's called uh, Triangle. I just, it's yeah. just like so. <laughs> such a I thought it was choice. like Theta. I thought it was some type of like Delta. symbol, Delta, yeah, or yeah. thing. I don't it, know. It's I don't know what it's supposed to be. It is a triangle. It yeah, people kept sides. calling it. People, yeah, it has to be and triangle. I think that's yeah, why, but I just like the. It's just a weird choice, but yeah. I like it. Yeah. Um, I think they do that though because they don't want people that have never played any of these to be like they can't start with this. Yeah, one. that's so true. So if you put a three on it, but yeah. I do wonder: are they going the route of like the Metal Gear Solid or the the Resident Evil remakes where you could start with this one and they're gonna redo the games, but. You could start with this one and the new. 
You know why I wonder? I have a feeling about you know that. why I wonder why they're starting you know what I'm with saying? three? Maybe because they're gonna redo the games and you would start chronologically. That's what I was gonna say. That's what I'm trying to say. I think I that said it much more poorly than. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was about to say that's what I was about to say was I think they're doing that because it's chronologically now, which they're gonna remake in chronological. I thought it was cooler. I think you should always play stuff in release order. I, I am with. You. I never have any qualms yeah. about not doing that because when you got to three, it was like. Oh, it's Big shoot. Boss. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Like, you get to see his backstory and how this kind of ties in, and then everything's leading up to, oh, shoot, the, the start of an NES villain. Like, <laughs> like oh, my gosh. Like, yeah. Uh, the first but Metal Gear. Something one. that I thought yeah. instantly was, oh, if Kojima's not involved, it's going to be exa exactly, I say exactly loosely, like the original game. Yeah. Like, I feel like it would have been a very Kojima thing to be like, yeah, we're remaking three, but, like, Little story. Yeah, yeah like, that would like be the three. You're right. It'd, it'd if be like Kojima a rebuild. Was involved, that would then be. Then I feel route. like they would have done something like that. But I've, you're right. I highly doubt it. Yeah. They don't have the confidence yeah. or no. the or the cash in the bank yeah. to just go doing weird or yeah. like the Final Fantasy. Yeah. You know, yeah. seven thing. They showed off uh, Resident Evil Four for PSVR two, which I thought was really cool because at least with seven to eight, it was already first person. Whereas four is just third person, the remake that just came out. So they're putting that in PSVR too. And I was like, that's pretty cool to mm. actually be able to do that. That is cool. Too spooky for me, but very cool yeah. uh, addition to PSVR too. Um, they showed another game that I had on that list was, oh, well, of course, Spider-Man 2 was their big closer yeah. they had on there. I did watch the, the gameplay yeah. cinematic of yeah. that. Um, it looked really good. Looked really good. I... Really like, uh, I forgot how much I like the Venom stuff because it turns Spider Man into an a hole. Yeah. Because uh, Miles like, let's do this, and he's like, no, he's just an a hole. He's just, a, he's like, ah, I'm, I'm gonna do, do it myself. Yeah, I'm gonna do. He, and he, he even talks more. Yeah, I, I like a hole Spider Man. So I'm like, yeah, I forgot that's what Venom kind of basically does to him. He makes yeah. him an a hole. So. Well, and it's nice uh, that they've got Miles in there because you play as both. Yeah. So you don't feel like you're just playing the a hole the whole time. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. the hard thing with the a hole Spider Man thing is it gets old. Yeah. Like if that's your only conduit. Yeah. So and they you give you that back control. control. Over. Yeah. Yeah. But, it looks like you can glide now. They've added some gliding things. Yeah. He's got a little, like, flying squirrel suit thing on. Um, pretty cool. I, I will say when you first when we first played that first Spider-Man, it was also new. So it's like, am I still going to feel that newness, or am I feel like yeah. I'm going to play like, DLC? I thought original? about that, too, because when they showed Miles traversing the city, yeah. he did something where he, like, zoomed through, like, four blocks in, like, a second. Yeah. And, like, I feel like that's exactly what that is, is, like, You've already been through the city. Let's give you something so you mm. can just do it a little faster. Do it a little faster or something. Faster. But yeah. yeah, so um, I'm definitely, that'll be, you know, one I definitely will play. I loved that first Spider Man. That was really fun. Um, so, and it looked beautiful back then. So I can't wait to see. Uh, our buddy Zach has been playing on PC for the first time. He's been putting like screenshots like, hey, yeah. like I forgot. I was like, that game does look good. So I can't wait to see what they do. Yeah, well, that's fine. one thing I'm nervous about because I don't think it's going to launch on PC. No, I think it'll be PS5 first. Yeah, I don't have PS5, and I'm yeah. I time to get one. one time to get one. So, but and all these PC ports have been so bad for, yeah. for all these games coming out. Lately. Did they say this isn't on PS4? It's not on PS4. No, I doubt no. it. No, I, it's I, not. I didn't look closely enough. I just it's not on PS4. It's PS5. I think they're done doing that now. I think we're finally on full. Lockdown is over, and they're a little more available. I think we're done with PS4. Uh, <laughs> then they showed one game that was interesting to me was. Um, Ultros, did you see that in the trailer? It was the weird psychedelic colored looking one. Indie oh game. yeah, it was a VR game, right? No, oh. it was a side scroller, and they had like this we all these weird enemies. Um, did it look like Hollow Knight kind of? Kind of. Okay, I saw that. Yeah. Um, I thought that looked awesome. I was hooked it on like that. Hollow Knight. Yeah, I was hooked yeah. on that, and I started looking more into it. Um, lots and of crazy colors. I, and I was like, please don't do this to me, because it were like it was it looked like a fun like adventure <laughs> side scroller. <We're> like <laughs> I started looking it up and they're like, Yes, as you go, you know, stuff keeps happening in the loops. There's it's a loop based loop ga based gameplay. And you I went, know. just call it a roguelike and that sucks. <laughs> Cause I'm I cannot play those. I've tried them. Every single time I get burnt by them. So it's like when I saw that, so I'm still holding out hope that Ultros is not roguelike. I probably shouldn't yeah, hold that you up, might, folks. You might be in the wrong Because every game era. is a roguelike now. <laughs> every single one is a roguelike. But uh, that game looked incredible. That game looked really freaking cool. But I don't know. Was there anything else that they showed at the um, showcase? Or? They showed... 
Uh, I I think that the oh L Project Q uh, yeah. handheld, I which you're probably talking about. All I see are these really ridiculous <laughs> looking stupid. Screenshots. They have they. <laughs> it's a stupid product, it, man. Yes, As I they think they are pitching what this, this thing is. is if there's not a hidden thing in this thing sleeve. This that thing dead on arrival. is yeah, it's DOA because. You, it doesn't play games. It it, it, it streams. It's it only remote, remote streams from your PS5. So here's the home. thing. They cool. I, it's I, a controller with a tablet jabbed in the middle that's four hundred dollars. I, I will say, so they're they're of course yeah. looking yeah. at the Steam Deck. It's a Deck. Wii U controller. Yeah. They're looking <laughs> it's a Wii U controller. They're looking at the Steam Deck, they're looking at the Switch. And of course, I think Sony fans and other people are like, Well, where's our Vita? Where's our whatever? And I think they felt that pressure. But this is stupid because, um, for one thing, yeah, you can't do a Vita 2 or whatever. I think that doesn't really make sense in a post-Switch world. Yeah. Like, to have no. separate a console, like, that's too much R&D and all the stuff they got to do now. Like, we're past that. But on the other end of that, for years we've been able to, like, get... And now the Bluetooth support with our iPhones they and Android. They already did this. You can already do this. You can no, already, already did this. They yes. released a grip. I literally yes, have done the, it. Yes, the oh, bone no, controller. No. Yeah. <laughs> that was an official controller with these other, like they worked with another company to do that. But you also can already get a Bluetooth controller connect to your iPad, to your Android devices, your Android yeah. phones or whatever. So this comes out and they're like, we just kind of took apart a DualSense and slapped it on an iPad and you can only cloud stream. And it's like, the People that really wanted this are already doing it. That's yeah. why, from like a sales mm -hmm. point, I don't get why they're thinking. Because well, the people that really like have locked into that love it. Like they, I get my iPad, I play sometimes. Yeah. Like they just play, stream it. You talk about the Game Pass even doing that, like playing yeah. on yeah. your tablet. Yeah. So I think the people that already really want that are not like, God, I wish someday I can get a tablet to do that. Yeah. They're already got that well, device. In like, the handheld market, like the AAA, like you said, AAA studios or like companies or whatever they're done doing handhelds yeah it's over. but the like retro handheld market is exploding yeah of all these people coming out with like most of them are android based but like that play emulators and then a lot of them like logitech just came out with one that does xbox and like you could sideload like the playstation app from android or whatever so like those companies yeah. already exist. Yeah, it, and it looks yeah. like PlayStation is just gonna do it. It's very late to the party. If, if it is only st streaming, it can't run anything on itself. It's dead. Someone does. Yeah. Someone. There's no yeah. Way. yeah. Someone it's said. Four hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> do what? Did you find the price? It's four hundred dollars. Is it? Yes. Is it actually? There's yes. no free. I was about to say if it was a hundred to hundred fifty dollars, it would be a good price. Yeah. It's I goodbye. Don't know. Even a hundred. Are you sure it's four hundred dollars? Yes. Even a hundred. I'm positive. All these hold on. It just cloud strings for four hundred dollars. There's no yeah, way. That is my understanding. You're high. That's what I read. I cannot believe this. <laughs> PlayStation. Uh, we have to look this up live. I saw that on Reset Era. Q that's price. A, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard. If that's true. I gotta find it. I gotta. Uh, I don't, oh, I, I don't see it. I don't see I it I saw yet. a leaked price then. I saw on Reset Era and read it both. Maybe the official Hold on, price I'm saying current high. reports state that the Sony could retail for around 200 I saw 400 so maybe Even that was 200. wrong. 200 Man, so Un 200 or totally. under. <laughs> Gosh, that's so But much. 200 or under could get the people that really want to do that and whatever. That's the same I don't thing know. I feel about PSVR. I think it's really cool. Lots of people say it's one of the best headsets. Oh, it's incredible. You also have to have a $600 yes. console to do it. Yeah, it's a high benchmark. It's so much freaking money. And, <laughs> and they just now put it out at Best Buy and GameStop. Yeah. And oh, yeah, because it was, it was PlayStation, it's PlayStation Store, store, store only. Oh, they oh, they botched that launch. Can we so talk bad. about my 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 some of the games that drove me insane? Uh, well, number one, Child's Principle 2 got announced, which I'm, exci I'm extremely excited about. Yeah, I saw that. And yeah. that looked awesome, and they are doing all these different sections. I was surprised they did that, sections. yeah. So, well, it's just third party, so it's not exclusive to them. But um, <laughs> there was a game, the way this opened, Fair Game. Uh, I'm trying to remember. It's one of the, it looks like a heist game. So oh, imagine at the bank. a world where 1% of the people are billionaires. Yeah. And they have all the money. I was like, imagine okay. life. I was like, <laughs> okay. don't like make a game and I be like, say, imagine yeah. a world. It's just like, imagine a world where we have no money. It, it was so annoying, man. That drove me insane. But what I was going to say is there were six, or, or there were five games in this showcase that had the PlayStation Studios logo. Like actual first party games. Yeah. Okay. How many of those games do you think were single player, and how many do you think were service-based shooters? 
Because I know the answer, and it is a fact. <laughs> it has to be five out of six was yeah, squad based. It was it was five it was five four out yeah. of five or five out of six was squad based, and one was Spider Man. And there was a earnings thing last year where Sony said like they're projected how they're going to spend yeah. their money, and this year is the first year their money is two to three for service based versus single player. Wow. It's the first time it's outpaced, and we're seeing that now. Yeah, I really don't like the direction. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. This is not what built them what they are. Yeah. And here's the other reason why I don't like it. There's an, another in, very insidious thing about this. All of the service-based games, they announced this recently, and then they, they go back to the trailer. The service-based games are PC, PS5 simultaneous. Yeah. The single-player games are PS5 only to mm. start. And I think that they are misjudging the market because they're trying to do these premium destiny like you know games most of the games that blow up service wise are free yep yeah and then you pay microtransactions so he's dead ass going to try to charge pc players 70 bucks and then get them to buy into live yeah. service yep i don't think it's going to work i don't either i don't think it's going to work and i think it's going to suck i yeah. think that they are spending so much money in live service and that is the direction jim ryan is leading them yeah and this is the first time publicly we're seeing that in the way the showcases yeah. are presented. All the stuff that was in there that I wanted to play was pretty much not PlayStation stuff, which yeah. is kind of scary for a yeah. PlayStation showcase yeah. three years into the generation. Yeah. I think it's bad. Yeah. I will say Marathon is going to be a squad-based whatever thing. Oh. But I thought that trailer uh, looked awesome. During my reaction thing, that popped up, and it said Bungie, and I went, Oh, another Destiny DLC. I, as I popped up, but as I was watching, I was like, "This looks this looks it really looks cool." Awesome. I, I was like, "This Destiny stuff looks really cool." <laughs> I was like, and, and, "But then I started talking. I was like, I, I knew immediately I, it was new. So I, like, this is not Destiny.' I thought it's Destiny because that's all they're doing all the time. So I was like, "Man, I." But I was sitting there and I was like, "Man, I hope I wish they would make a new IP or yeah. do something else. I'm uh, do something else from Destiny." And it popped up Marathon. I was like, "Oh, that's freaking cool! Yeah. I know what Marathon is or whatever." And then. Then I Googled it, I looked in more into it, I was like, how's this game going to be? And they're like, a squad-based shooter. And I was like, oh, <laughs> gosh, just give me a story. It did look cool, but yeah. But yeah, I'm out on that. I mean, it might be fun. Hey, I got to tell you something. I bought some V-Bucks. Hey, hey. Yeah. I spent some money in Fortnite. Fortnite's good game. Recently. Fortnite's yeah. good game. No, no build mode? <laughs> no build. I've been playing with uh, I've never my, checked that out yet. Uh, my brother and sister-in-law. Yeah. And it's been a ton of fun. Fortnite's fun. I haven't played it in probably since we tried it These out. These like Gen Z games ago. are fun, man. Minecraft and <laughs> Fortnite. That's their they Ocarina of Time. Thing for May the 4th, and I was like, I, I think, need to play Anakin Skywalker. And I did it. Fortnite is so cool because it's so big that uh, corporations have to bend the knee. Yeah. They, they can't say, ah, oh, we're too, we're too, like, exclusive. Yeah. Like, every, like, Sony's in there, Michael oh, yeah. Halo's we're doing in there. The Spider Man event right now. I think that that's great. I think that if anybody's going to break down the walls of all the IP guarding and stuff, yeah. it's Fortnite. So I don't Honestly. play it, but I think it's cool. And I liked when we played I had it's, fun. Playing on my own was like, Okay, I get this experience, and I like yeah. was okay with not playing it, but like having a group to regularly play with. It's a freaking blast. That's cool. Oh, I've always had fun with it. Like, I the way you are with roguelikes, I'm getting live service gamed out. Yeah. Yeah. And well, I and, and I Destiny, like, and I like I like Destiny, but I got Destiny out, and I see where yeah. that goes in the end. But the it's just a big chase for whatever. I, I'm wondering, yeah. like, of course, there is a hardcore segment, me and you, that love these single player games, but. I think the business side is winning out on Sony's side where yeah, they're, they they're looking at the, the dollar signs from like Fortnite and all these service base. They're That's why you saw 30 them. of them and it's like, there's a reason they're dumping their dollars into yeah. it. It's like the shareholders too are probably like, where's your freaking live they're service probably, game? Like, like you said, they're dumping money and they're just hoping if we spend all of our money and one of them sticks. If one of them, if one them becomes sticks, Fortnite, then, then it's worth it to yeah. them. We win, yeah. yeah. But there's the ones that are already established. I just don't see them like the Fortnites and... You don't see them taking that back. Yeah, well, it's real estate. It's not unlimited players' time because they take yeah. so much time. So how are you going to peel people away from Fortnite or from whatever else? Yep. But I will say some games have a sneaky big audience that you just don't even think about. Yeah. Like I was doing some reading about Roblox because we have had a we've had a game podcast for five years. We talked about Roblox zero times. Yeah. It is the, like the big, big, yeah. biggest game yeah. in the world. And like there are like Roblox like like rappers. Yeah. And all their music is out on only yeah. Roblox. It's like a yeah. whole freaking thing. Yeah, like, it's very involved. 
We don't even talk about it. Like, yeah. And because like, like I, art survival, we don't ever talk about that. There's like a huge yeah. player base. Yeah. So I don't know where they're finding all these freaking people that play these games. I think there's exist. just a community of, and, and I think it's primarily just the up and coming generation because it's like, it's are on they? Their iPhones, are, it's on the yeah, they're uh, they're clamoring for like. And we kind of were like this, too. We liked Call of Duty back then. We liked getting in the, yeah. into yeah. parties more, which we don't get as much time to do anymore. But back then, if you remember, we used to get on Call of Duty. You'd, you'd bounce around on these games. And if they're squad-based and you can play with each other yeah. versus, like, yeah. we're in our own pods playing single-player stuff, it's like, yeah, you know. And if you can grab them and it's like, and then they see their friend with a freaking the gold suit, they want the gold suit, yeah. so they drop money. Yeah. But and Sony that's why doesn't understand it because I'll dabble in these games, but they're generally free or like not that expensive. Yeah. Yeah. I, people aren't paying seventy dollars. Are they gonna to make me seventy dollars? I don't know what they're gonna do, but you know Sony. Yeah. <laughs> I think they'll be free. I think they'll be free. You think that fair game thing they show is yes. gonna be free? You think that Concord or whatever game they show is going to be free? Yeah. Here, describe to me Concord, the new Sony IP. I don't know what Concord they announced is. A, they announced two new IPs, Fair Game. Tell me. Fair Game, they were in the bank, and they okay. ran around the bank. Concord, tell me what you thought I about. don't remember. Okay, Sony was, announced Somebody a with a gun. IP. Somebody with a gun ran around. Doesn't that kind of say a lot? But like, <laughs> okay, describe to me the, the third Sony IP. Yeah. Foam, foam, foam. Foam stars. Okay, I do know that one because that one was the Square Enix. We got one. three new Sony IPs. That was they all the, look like shit. That was the Square Enix. Terrible news. That was the Square that's Enix awful one. News. That's very bad. Nope, news. I'm gonna defend Foam Stars. <laughs> I'm a bit of a foam head. I will uh, say that one could work out because that's Splatoon. Yeah, it it's is Splatoon. Splatoon. It's oh, I saw one screenshot of that and I laughed and said, <laughs> "No," and then he kept scrolling. Oh, yeah, it's definitely their Splatoon. So I bet. You know, if these Splatoon kids grow up, if they're if they're uh, going through puberty, they're gonna play foam stars. Here's what I'll say: When Sony releases one of these big first-party service games, if it's free, uh, we'll dive in and we'll try it out. I'll try. It We're out. gonna make this but, like, a it's destruction squ- all stars. It's like, what the frick is this crap? That we are gonna become. Stay in your lane. Yeah. We're done with Zelda. You can tell we were, were kind of out of it. So we're gonna become a squad-based podcast. I'm, I'm having trouble. Like, <laughs> who, who do I turn to? Phone Xbox stars in Redfall. <laughs> like uh, that's the thing. Like they're not. You able either, to do this you either, you either do, you either do squad based gaming or you go to Phil Spencer to apologize for your fiftieth time <laughs> this month. We're sorry. Is this what we're doing? Yeah, we're sorry this month. <laughs> you just get apology this month. I like um, my Steam Deck. Uh, what was? I love my Steam Deck. I haven't touched it since. Mega Man and then now Zelda. Yeah, I love but that thing. I that's the other thing. I was playing really short games. Yep. Um, because I knew those two games were coming out. I played like three or four on my Steam Deck that I beat really quickly. Yeah, I was doing stuff big, like that. Big thing you. that went under the radar. They showed Alan Wake two. Oh yeah. Showed Alan Wake two. That was good. Pretty cool. I never played the first one, but maybe this is a good time to. People always recommend it because it's kind of Twin Peak ish. It's kind of, at times. Um, that game. So. Good time, you know, I'll jump in. A little sneaky announcement on that, Alan Wake 2. I don't know if you guys saw this. Digital only. I, I did see that. that. Oh, I heard And about that. that, to me, I was just like, frick. Because, okay, put out, like, recently, I can think of, I wanted a physical copy of, um, like, a PSVR 2 game. Mm-hmm. They're not really doing it. Like, the Horizon yeah, game, yeah. first party launch thing, they no didn't chance. do it. Yeah. Which I get with... PSVR, you're in a VR headset. You don't, you don't want to change the disc. I get that, but it's still like, I wish I had that. Because I'm a physical. You're getting choked up about it. I know. I, <laughs> I was getting choked up it's about epoxy. Sony. It's, it's the epoxy. Up. It's the epoxy. Um, and I wanted to say that, like, I saw that and I was like, ooh, that is going to be a big experiment because that's a huge, like, they're, I mean, that's Epic Studios is funding that. Yeah. It's going to be Epic oh, Games wow. exclusive to their store. It's not on Steam oh, or whatever. It's that. not on Steam? It's not going to be on Steam at, fir- at least on fir- at first because they're oh, publishing man. it. A lot of people are like, yeah, I guess I'm out. Wow. But um, but that is a huge title like for them. And, you know, whatever, like A lot of money is going towards it, and they're not doing it physical. And they, they, they did make an excuse. So they said they were like, oh, you know, we're doing this, so we, you know, we don't have to make it $70. It's $60. And I'm thinking in my head, like, you could have been in Best Buys and GameStops and had more people buy it, too. Yeah. And it's not like breaking the bank to do this, but whatever. But for me, all looking at this, I think all eyes are on this. 
Yeah. If this sells good enough, yeah. and digital sales have gone up progressively yeah. every year versus physical. Yeah. I've gone just about all of them. If this goes well, everybody's five. licking their lips because they're watching this intently. You can te- you know That's Sony really and Xbox are all watching this going, if this goes well, frick GameStop, frick Best, you know, yeah. frick doing I, a physical thing. You know, I bought all my PS5 games to this point, except for once I was in a GameStop and I wanted a game that was cheap. I bought them all digital. Xbox, I don't buy games. Yeah. <laughs> but it's digital. Yeah, well, that's what's Steam is all digital, and Tears of the Kingdom, because I got all my Switch games stolen. Yeah. <laughs> and I did get yeah. annoyed with the Switch having to swap out the cards. Yeah, handheld sucks I bought, for me. I bought it sucks Tears of the Kingdom digital, so at this point, I'm not really in that yeah. lane anymore. I mean, with yeah. Game Pass, I'm alone. Do, <laughs> well I, I do I like physical? Do, yeah. With Game Pass. But I mean, that, that model, I could, I could see, like, if I want to play a new AAA game, I pay ten bucks a month. Yep. I am, I am all digital with Game Pass for PC stuff or for Xbox stuff. And I've always been for PC Steam. I'm not buying like a box that has a little code inside. I'm not doing that, of course. But I've always like it did save my butt this uh, gen because I hated Horizon and I just went on Amazon I was like return and they're like they gave me all my money back. They gave me all yeah. seventy of my dollars back. So I like the ability to, tr- to have these games and pass these games on or whatever. And I just like them on a shelf. I, I've just, so for me, the way I'm trading physical now, I know I'm on, this, this, the, the ship is sinking. I am yeah. not like fighting. I'm not saying, ah, yeah. I'm going to do it forever. Yeah. I, know, I know my party's over. The Titanic well, is at the iceberg. I'm, I'm with you in spirit it's over. because I think it sucks for reselling. Yeah. Yeah. Not even just in that instance, just the value, like the Nintendo yeah. games goes up. I am rebuying the Nintendo games that I bought that I lost. Yeah. Because I have boxes. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> We're just empty carts. Yeah. And yeah. they do go up. Like, yeah. They go, they always go up. They'll hold their value. So, yeah. But I but, bought Tears just out of, you know, pure laziness. I didn't yeah. I go to the store. But I, uh, I am, I am basically... I will leave when the lights, the show lights turn off. Yeah. Uh, when the lights turn off, I'll be the last one. I'll lock the door behind me. I kind of like they that. have to get me to a point where they announce the PS6 and they say it's all digital. The new Switch 2 is all digital. The new Xbox. Nintendo will hold out the, the longest because yeah, so they are a toy company. Yeah. At the end of the day. But yeah. I will. But even them, they're like even pushing their voucher system for yeah. the digital stuff. So yeah, they've been pushing they're, that hard. They're, yeah, they're getting people to get comfortable with that. They're doing the online pass stuff. To and get you know, I wonder if that's because they're looking future at next console. I, I think console. there's a strong chance that Switch 2 could be only digital. That was the other I, reason I put digital. Yeah, and I, I was like, there's a chance they won't just have backwards compatibility. And but if I they didn't do, think about that. But if they do, the cart might not go in the new things. So. I, I, I really <laughs> don't, you know... Like, you screwed either way with that. <laughs> I mean, you have yeah. no idea. So for me, like I'm buying all my PS5s, you know, games uh, physical. I'm doing this. When the PS6 comes out and it's all digital, it's like, okay, I'm starting. Here is my digital journey, and I'm starting out. And yep. I get, it, I get it, and I'm with you. And I have no choice anymore of the matter. So it's I, like, but yeah. I want to be the last one out. I want to get these last ones in and just enjoy it. But yeah. at, yeah. while it lasts. I kind of did that yeah. with music too. I fought against the Spotify and yeah. Apple music for a long, long time. Because I loved having my huge gigs and gigs library of music that I could do whatever I wanted with, but like, it just the amount of content that's coming out just and the what was physically possible. Yeah. To continue to buy or get and manage, and I think yeah. games are the the convenience. But way. what for yeah. me is like different. You got this whole room filled. And it's yeah. Like if you wanted to realistically, without shoving some stuff together, like you're gonna have to get more shelves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm gonna run out of space. Eventually. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run out of space if they don't do it next consoles. Which I <laughs> there, I don't think there's any way in hell there's gonna be a physical base because even yeah. all these rumors about the next PlayStation, if it's a slim or if it's a pro, I think it's more of a slim model they're gonna be doing. They're putting out a new PlayStation Five model, and it's not gonna have a disc drive. There's no chance. No, no. Uh, and which we are I mean they they launched both the Xbox and the PlayStation with SKUs that were only digital. They didn't have a disk drive in them. That's a start. That's yeah. a weird start, you know, to this gen. But this next PlayStation that's coming out is also a diskless system and they're it sounds like the rumors are going to be true. They're giving you an attachment. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but they're yeah. like giving they're going to offer a, a separate attachment like a USB like, like I, a disc I feel like it's going to connect to the system or look nice or sleek or whatever yeah. and you'll be able to attach like a disk drive to this new system separately. You can buy it separately. 
if you want yeah, to do that. Are do that. That's, yeah, that's uh, small but small they're though, they're giving it. people the option because they're still putting out these systems that, or these games in stores. So they're like, hey, uh, we want the option. Yeah. But yeah. the yeah. writing's on the wall. When they're doing stuff like this and launching a new Slim with no disc based, it's over, boys. But it's a Slim, yeah. not a Pro thing, right? It, it sounds like they're. I don't even care if they release Pro. I have no need for more power yeah. for my PlayStation. I think it's that. a Slim because didn't they say these systems are capable of 8K? Like, they, yeah. All the time, well, like this is gonna be a long generation. It's gonna be I extremely long too. because even just now, I honestly think this year, twenty twenty three, this is the start of the, the yeah. systems because like we had COVID and we had all this wacko stuff going on, and yep. in all systems prior to this, every system, Nintendo, Xbox, it always takes two years to kind of get the, get the, ball the get the ball rolling, and then developers catch up and they do this stuff. But now, mm. you know, with COVID, it was like. I think 2023 is the first year where it's like I'm I'm giving the, I gave them kind of the benefit of the doubt till this year now I'm gonna be harsh like yeah you, you've had three years figured out like what's coming out but mm-hmm. yep so physical stuff I'm a little bummed about that but what can you do but all eyes are on Alan Wake we'll, we'll see. see what we'll do you see. got for us Alan what are you gonna do Alan <laughs> I think that's uh-huh. what, I think that was most of the stuff in Tim the Allen. showcase I mean I there were things I wanted to play in the showcase but I just couldn't help but shake that feeling of like hmm. Now, there is rumors that Sony has more that will be at the Summer Games Fest and stuff. So yeah. we'll see what happens. But definitely, they had those iconic showcases back to back to back. They had one really weird one, I remember, that people were kind of mixed on. And then they haven't had one in a while. Yeah. So to re enter this space this way was uh, telling, I feel yeah. like. So, yeah, maybe they're holding out stuff for that showcase. We'll see for the Summer Games thing or whatever. But. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for video game world. Any movies or TV shows you guys watch? I finished Twin Peaks season two. Nice. So have you ever watched Twin Peaks? I've not. Okay. You. It was your first Actually time through. It's my first time it, finishing season two. And me and my wife were rewatching it, and we're in the same spot you guys are at. But yeah. Um, oh, you did you you already finished it, right? And we finished Fire or Fire Walk with me, we're which watch, is the movie that we're happens after Fire that. Fire Walk with me, I think on Monday. So. Yeah, finished it. Um, season two, I think you talked about this last time. It yeah. goes to Goofy Land. Um, <laughs> that show goes off the rails. That's why I gave up on it back yeah. then. I had even even the goofiest parts. I had a better appreciation now that I just am, yeah, they're, a little older. And I still remember laughing and laughing the second fun. time. I had fun. Second time through, you're still laughing, but it's worthless. Yeah. It's the most funny filler stuff. It's like, filler. It's like a filler but it's, for it, 10 What they're doing for like the whole season. Almost, a yeah, lot of seasons. Season, from episode probably eight, eight through to 20. 20. Uh, are yeah. all like it's crazy hard. stuff they're doing with the characters. Like, but God, it's still very like, funny. There's a character that just like loses his mind and starts like recreating the civil war in his office and like cool. it's just it's a lot. Oh, wait, it's there, a there's lot. two seasons and then that like third one they did? There's, or? there's two seasons. There's Fire Walk With Me which is a prequel that okay. kind of talks about stuff. Fire Walk With Me is incredible. It's very good. And then season three is one of my favorite pieces of media ever. And that's, that's the one that came, came out like in the last 2017 years. that came yeah. out. And that was incredible. But, so I'm excited to talk about that. But we again. had a great right. time watching it. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. We didn't like my thing was we watched probably six episodes. Oh, did you like those day. last two those last two episodes are really good? Yeah, I did like those last two. They do try to like relay in the plane. Um I I like them. I think, you know, there were still a lot of bananas bull like yeah. ridiculous things happening. Like the stuff with the bank. Yes, uh, and, yeah. And, like, there's a character that, like, goes down in this bank, yeah. like, to protest, and then, the, like, something just blows up, and then you're like, well, what happened? And then the show's just over. Like, it's just, like, there were so many, it felt like, okay, uh, we've wasted a lot of time here. Yeah. Let's speed run, like, some plot lines here and, like, make some stuff happen that'll leave you on a lot of cliffhangers. And I was kind of like, man... I can't imagine, like, if the show just ended like yeah. this, and it, it was over. It was over. For 25 years yeah. that way. People had to wait 25 years. <laughs> and some and the very last thing that happens is uh, very shocking. Yeah. Uh, and you are like, man, it's kind of a bummer because it's with a character you love, and you're like, what? What do I even make of this? But, you know, it, it it's definitely going for the shock value. A uh, very kind of dark, nefarious type way to end the show. And I don't think they were intending to end it. I think they were hoping to get a third season. And it just it didn't work out. It didn't. It, it, but well, I read an art, I read an interview with the guy that worked at the at the Fox or whatever, yeah. and he was like, "Yeah, we were kind of out on Twin Peaks towards the end of the season, but we were waiting to see what would they do with David coming back at the end and with the finale." 
And he said, when we watched the finale that they turned in before it went to broadcast to this, he said, we looked around the room and we, we felt like they were giving us two middle fingers so we canceled the show. Yeah. Like, they canceled it because of that ending. The way oh, it really? Yeah, they felt like they are just screwing with us. Which I was like, I feel like you're saying that now in retrospect because you're trying to explain, but that doesn't really make sense. Yeah. I think it was getting canceled either way. But it, it was like they went dark. As dark as they could with different things and the whole thing with the Black Lodge and, like, the, the room with all the curtains. Yeah, so cool. Really cool. So. Because uh, that's an environment they set up early in the show, but they really hang in there for yeah, more. Yeah, a lot. And the stuff with uh, Laura, very scary. Very and, scary. Uh, very. There's a character just screaming at the screen and... Um, it was very, it reminded me of some of my favorite stuff in Lynch's movies. But I loved, and when 2017's was coming out, there, spoil, mini spoiler, there's a character towards the end that says, because they all speak backwards. Yeah, they say they all in speak, the last episode, they speak they backwards say, in the lodge. You'll see me again in, in 20, 25 years. 25 years. And they that's said what, that in the show, and that, 25 I would, years. When they said that, I was like, what? 25 I was years like, later. That is when that came out later. 25 years later, we get season three. Uh, and they didn't know yeah. that they were going to get canceled yeah. at that time. Yeah. So. Very just uh, how that, how that yeah. I got goosebumps when she said that because I was like, yeah. I actually know. I, that that you'll see tr- they all speak backwards. They they make all the actors in that in that in this area in the in the show speak backwards. And then they play and it. And then the they other way. rewind it. And add it to the character, so everybody's going. Ah, you're doing your because they have to yeah, learn it. Weird. They have to learn all their lines backwards. Uh, um, it's very cool. cool very very cool ending. Uh, the bad guy that they were setting up, uh, Wyndham Earl. Wyndham Earl. His He's plot line just character. evaporates, basically. Yeah. Like it's like they just give up on it. And, yeah. And so it's fine. Um, it, it was. It was. I love. I really yeah. love the show. I was kind of sad, though, like, it ending, because I don't know what all happens in season three, but I've talked to you a little bit about it, and I have seen the general symptom is some people love season three, some people aren't as big on it, but it's very different, and that town with those characters and that time period have this feel, and it's funny, and it's yeah. goofy, and I just was like, man, I, I even told you, I was like, I don't want to watch, I don't, I always want to believe yeah. there's more of this out there, of this I, episode, I think that three but. just, as as classic as that first season and then some of season two is, season three is just, it goes to places. It's, yeah, okay. And there's one episode in particular where my jaw was on the ground the whole entire episode because it's like, how did they get away with this? And you okay. probably heard people on Twitter talk about that episode, but like there's an episode I, well, where it's I like... I don't know what it is. How so. in the... Oh, there is an episode where it's like... Because there was fights with Lynch and the studio, and and they wanted to cut Lynch off. Or I don't know if there was a, a disagreement about the stuff in the show. Once you see the show, you're like, I can see why they were fighting back some of the ideals. Because some of his ideals are just they're so long winded, and the, the shots are so long. It's incredible what he gets away with. And I was so bummed because I remember reading is like, hey, this show is on pause because they're going to try to find some showrunner, different showrunner, because they were That's they were they were button heads with Lynch. And all of the actors, every single one that was returning, said, "If Lynch doesn't do it, we don't do it." Yeah. And they were all like, "Well, they've been through season two. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're not doing it." So uh, uh, they gave him his way, and you get to see what a man gets his way on network television. I it's wanna, crazy. I wanna, what they, I want. I cannot wait. He did not get to not do anything. He we're gonna do to. Fire Walk with me, and then dive in. But yeah, I'm glad I'll look to, to come back through and and dive into finishing that. Yeah, that I'm, I'm glad that you're show. into it. I, I really look forward Plus, to hearing what we you really about. first met was talking about Twin Peaks, because yeah. I do love the show. Yeah. I just never wrapped it up. And that was before season three even existed, yeah. I think. So. Yeah, I don't think it was out yet. I think I was getting ready for it. Yeah. Know, maybe possibly, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, look forward to you getting that. It's a good show. I'm trying to think. I don't think I watched any movies or anything. Uh, one show I've been watching... Uh, very polar opposite of what of Twin Peaks is a show called Jury Duty. <laughs> We've talked about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you yeah. like? It. I, I am loving it so far. It's not. I'm not super far into it, but I feel like if it was all scripted, like entirely, then I would be like, yeah, this is you know kind of corny. They're trying to do other stuff, but like knowing that this one dude, yeah, it's very cool, is totally unaware of, and he just thinks this is all real. Yeah. Like, that makes it a little twenty times funny. Yeah, you know we're gonna start seeing a lot more stuff like that with this writer strike. Maybe that's the way to wrap yeah. this up. Is this is a, it, 
It's a bad time. <laughs> yeah. It's a bad time to be striking um, for a lot of reasons. I do understand why they're doing it, though, because I listened. Do you listen to The Daily sometimes, don't you? The podcast? Uh, maybe. I think we talked about that. But anyway. I listen to NPR. Yeah, well, it's something like that, where yeah. they kind of go over stuff like a little every day. They did one on this writer's strike, and one of the big things is back in the day when shows were 24 episodes, like Friends, Seinfeld, mm -hmm. if you got a staff writing job on Seinfeld, you got 24 episodes, and it was every week you would write, you would film, you would go. That's half your year. Well, nowadays, and if it went into syndication, yeah. you were making money on that, right? You're getting residuals. Well, yeah, and so for years, that's how writing worked, and then now... Shows are shorter. Yeah, so they're like 10 episodes. Either. Yeah, and you're not part. Writing happens, and then they say thank you, and then you're out. Whereas when you write for a show, you write, and then you're on set, like The Office and all those shows. You would write, and then you would be on set while they're doing the filming. You'd help do rewrites. With these shows for Netflix and all this stuff, and I think it shows in the product, they get the scripts, and they say thank you very much, and then they go make it, and the writers yeah. are, are not part of it. Right. So. You're going to go write scripts for a four-episode thing on Netflix. You never get to be on set. Oh my you gosh. never get to see how it ends up. You just see it, and your name's on there that you wrote it. Yeah. And then it never goes into syndication because it's by default in syndication. Yeah, it's in streaming. streaming. Yeah. And you never get residuals. And you never get residuals. So I do understand why they are they like, should, yeah. that we are they getting should. fricked over here. Yeah. And they and they talk about it's bad. The guy that did The Good Place, he also was on Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. He also was the writer for The Office, which... I love The Good Place, and then I yeah, didn't realize he's connected all that. Show. He talks about he got on as a staff writer for The Office, and that's how he learned how to run a show and how to run a set and how to do the safety announcements and how to get the catering yeah. because he was on set as a writer, and then he got into directing episodes, and then he ran his own shows. He was like, in this current environment, I would have never yeah. even gotten to meet an actor. Yeah. I never would have gotten better. And he's, he said, he's like, you can see in the quality of some of these shows, it's it's a dime a dozen. There's so many shows. You go on Netflix, new this week, like 18 freaking things, yeah, none and of them are none of them are any good. I They're think the fun. worst thing with, yeah. with, with shows right now are documentaries. I think documentaries, we are in a stink hole. And what, yeah. I mean by, what I mean by that is every documentary is like about a serial killer or about an event, but when you turn it on, it'll go, it'll start like, I'll give an example, like the Boston bombing thing. But it, this didn't do it as, as bad as other ones have, but they're like, the Boston bombing, blah, blah, and it was bad, and then the bombs will up, and then an intro they don't need, and then the intro lasts for 30 <laughs> seconds and a song from Hannah Montana or something, and then, it, and then it ends. Time. That yeah. goes, and then they open, they say, um, the town, of, you know, where they, they this came here, they, they grew up here from... You know, year two to year three, and in that time, you know, rock and roll was. Good. They give you all this context, and they're like, <sighs> they're all trying uh, yeah, to do the O.J. Simpson yeah. documentary thing. But they, they, but they give you is... context you don't need or you don't care about, and it's like the Unabomber, and yeah, the Unabomber. You know, he grew up here in the 1950s, <laughs> and during the 1950s, you know, a lot of stuff was going on in the country, like you know, race relations, and then they'll talk <laughs> for like 30 minutes. It's like we that's not actually pertinent, and they won't even tie it back to whatever, oh. like, you know, but. Uh, it's it's like they're they made a, a the documentaries that should be one or two episodes they are seven eight. yeah and it's like you can actually tie it down and make it a good you just make it a movie. movie they just want it up, they want yeah, that or, streaming yeah we, they want that's what they said and I think that's minutes. what's happening they, they want the minutes yeah and so they spread it out to six and, you, and it is it's, it's cool filler. this is what happens new mechanisms come out for publishing and distribution. Yep. People try to play the game and yeah. get around it. This, there's always good stuff that comes through all this, but I feel like we're feeling this with games, with Game Pass, yeah. and all these service games, and we're feeling it with we're gonna reel it shows. In. It's well, what's gonna happen is you we're gonna have our ET moment when they made that awful freaking game and they printed a billion copies yeah. and they had to go bury them in the sand. Yeah. Like, I'm waiting for the ET moment for some of this stuff. They're gonna, these companies realize they're gonna bury the series. We're ass. losing our ass paying money. For they're gonna stuff. bury yeah. all those Q handhelds. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna happen. There's gonna be a mountain of them. Yeah, it's gonna, I, I all the know. influencers are gonna be there taking a picture behind them. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I good luck to the writers. I uh, hope that they get what they're looking for. Yeah. But yeah. And I think that there's something to be given, but. Uh, but I, the problem is these companies, they're not, like, Netflix loses its ass in making all these terrible shows. Yeah. They just have that one hit, and then it gets them yeah. what well, they need. I got a cool message on my television yesterday, or when I was watch, watching Walking Dead, and it was like, hey, is this your household? Because they're doing the password cracking thing. 
And I was like, oh. yes, you son of a... And I collected or whatever, but it was like, all right, yeah, now we've understood this is your household. And I was like, great. I, I will say I'm off. I'm, I'm out of here. Screwed big yeah. Yeah, stuff starts coming yeah. out. Yeah. I will say. Because we have like 14 people on our freaking account or whatever it is. I will say like, I am a beneficiary of this. Me and my family, we have a shared thing that we share. Yeah, it's, Here's yeah. the deal. <laughs> I, I am very annoyed that they're doing yeah. it. I have no leg to stand on. Like, honestly, yeah. like, it is oh, not yeah. right, f you know, it's not fair for them that people share with 14 people, but it, was, it is still annoying that they're, it's, I, but hoping somebody, they fail. It's inconvenient. They're in the right. Yeah, they're in the right. But somebody yeah. did post, yeah. somebody, I saw a recent Earth, I don't know if you saw this, if you remember when the PS4 was announced and they had that freaking, freaking stab to the heart to the Xbox, when they showed that, how to, how yes. used games work on the PS4, yeah. And, they hand it, and it was like done for the whole yeah. e generation they that killed Vegas Xbox because that, that never forget that and someone said oh my gosh Amazon had like a mini moment like that on Twitter they retweeted uh, like account sharing blah blah or no they retweeted oh, an old, they that? retweeted an old tweet from Netflix, from Netflix. Yeah, that said that. said love is sharing your password with somebody yeah. and, the, and they hey. said and they put a picture of like enjoying it with like the user profile names were like <laughs> you can use this yeah. from any account or something like that yeah. and it was like that was their freaking like hey, ps4 yeah, xbox that is thing. the thing that these other companies are watching what netflix does yeah. but they may use it against netflix yeah kind or of, on the flip yeah. side a lot of people were saying in that thread they were like uh amazon uh, uh, they said or it's gonna be like samsung because samsung likes to make fun of iphone for like removing the headphone port yeah. what did they do a year later yeah. Yeah. so same thing with amazon it's like Whoa. why did you share your pat uh, we can share your password a year later God, uh, welcome, uh, Amazon users. We are actually going to not allow you to do that anymore. Well, if yeah, you think about months. it this way, when people put, had to pay for cable because there was no streaming, yeah, pay 150 bucks a month or whatever, and that 150 cable company took a percentage and then it broke out to all the channels. So, yeah. like, TBS gets four bucks, yeah. whatever. So, if TBS is getting four of your dollars a month, yeah, and you're locked in, baby, you're not getting out of that. Yeah. Like, you can't yeah. say, I'm canceling this month. Sorry, yeah. TBS, yeah. sorry, cable. You'd call and they would make it impossible to cancel. That is where the money went. Like, yeah. all of these for TBS and AMC, yeah. people go, oh, I get two bucks a month from everybody that has cable. Yeah. So literally and everybody. yeah, I'll pay syndication, and yeah. yeah, I'll do this. So that is the good thing still, even if you have to get your own, is I will just have to do what you do, which is I don't have it, but I'm aware of what's on it. And when a new thing comes out that I want to watch, I sign up and I watch it, and then I finish. Yeah. I yeah, think that's yeah. what's going to happen. I, I, I do but that, then yeah. the end game is they're going to start making you – the first streaming company that tries to make you lock into something more than a month will be the big test because yeah. that's the whole game of this. I am yeah. never doing that. Again. They're going to well, do they that. They already offer you because like, that's what they'll do next. Because they know that's what. Yeah. Whatever. That's no. And that's cool. But, people are well, going to scurry yeah. in that they'll make direction. It cost prohibitive to go month to month. People, that's yeah. a benefit to you, so you're going to pay more for. People that. are going to scurry when like they get. Because so far, I don't think people get sticker shocked when they see the twenty whatever bucks Netflix every month. But when that is it they, twenty dollars a month? Uh, when you get the four K version, you, it's like I will not be getting Netflix. The full There's no chance. It's like twenty three bucks we pay. So um, oh, what happens? What's going to happen I is I don't pay for Netflix. I don't either. <laughs> when, when, <laughs> I, when I see the nine ninety nine for something, like God, this when, again. When everybody's thing pops in and their bill, and they get to see that all six of their family members, and it's like fifty or sixty five dollars a month, they're going to go. I guess I just don't have Netflix, or they're gonna they're gonna pop it off and go. Well, when the new Stranger Things comes on, that's when I'll resubscribe. Yeah. Is what's gonna happen, and I think they'll they'll do what you're saying. Like you have to sign for a three month thing. It's a three month package or whatever. You'll buy Netflix bucks for three months. No, I'll be using Plex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have gone back to you know, uh, yeah. you know, people are helping me out. You know, other people, <laughs> uh, you know. Go watch it with world? a neighbor. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of neighbors around the world that are helping me watch. A lot of neighbor data is coming yeah. through. That's what's happening. Um, uh, but I'm back to that. But whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll get that Bear is Speaking of, like, TV shows and whatever, and I won't talk too much about it because we're about to watch the finale soon, but Barry and Secession are about to end. Love those freaking shows. Uh, but... Now with the writer strikes, it's like this is ending, and it's like I guess I'll just wait till the strike's over because nothing really. Is there any TV you're yeah. looking? No, for Attack on Titans final episode or two is going to be the season, I, I but think, I don't think that'll yeah. be affected. By I think it. Western That's TV Japan. is about to enter a different era. Yeah, because yeah. the yeah. last writer strike was when Lost was wrapping up yeah. and stuff, 
And I felt like there was a big shift after that with streaming, and we've been in a new era with HBO really hitting its yeah. peak. I think the golden era might be over. This might yeah. actually be where the cl the chapter closes because I, I really have enjoyed so much. Content going forward. I've enjoyed exactly. so much. Quality series. versus quality. Yeah. Like exactly what you guys are saying. Yeah. With like documentaries and yeah. like shorter length. It's like we're gonna keep. We're probably in that era. Like yeah. we're just gonna get a flood of. I've enjoyed so much TV. <laughs> uh, I've enjoyed so much TV, and if this is the last ones, I love Attack on Titan. That's ending this year, and Secession. Great for and me. I'll finally catch, catch up on Secession and Barry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, same. Secession and Barry are just really incredible shows, and yeah. so they're wrapping up. But uh, I think that is. Oh, Walking Dead. Yeah. I'm on season ten. <laughs> How many seasons are in this? Season uh, eleven. Oh. You blew through one through eight, and then nine and ten have been uh, yeah, well, slow motion. Well, what happened was one through seven. I was sick with COVID, so I that's all I did. That was my life was just churning out that. And then I got back to life, and I was like, "How the frick am I supposed to watch sixteen episodes that are an hour long each? How in the world?" And that took me forever. Season eight was the biggest bummer. It was season seven copy paste. They basically spent the whole season. I was like, "Oh my gosh, they're building all this. They're 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 linking with other communities. This is really fun." Are you a Walking Dead fan? No, I've uh, never watched it. and I never was. I watched it, the first season when it, when there were only one or two seasons. Yeah, out. and I, I thought, thought it was really cool. And then I hit the second or the third. Or whatever I, I second is where I quit. And I was like, I was like yeah, whatever. whatever. I was the same way. Uh, but if you would have told me, I was thinking about this when we were Tears of Kingdom thought. When I sat down, I was like. I'm just gonna watch Walking Dead. <laughs> if you, you, if you had told me ten, ten years bit. ago, if I have, a, if I ever find time travel, I'm gonna go to that moment ten years ago and just before all this happening, and I'm gonna say, you're gonna choose Walking Dead over a new Zelda game, <laughs> <laughs> and then bye bye, and then just zip along like that's all. <laughs> what the frick happens to me? So, uh, I yeah, I, I chose Walking Dead over Zelda, um, but I'm in season ten, and it's really good. It is still really, uh, I like what they're doing, but. I'm, like, looking on Wikipedia, like, when did these seasons... Because when they're getting close to COVID, I wanted to see kind of what happened with their episode structure or what happened, like, how was it affected. They have a standard 16-episode season, season 10. Then they have... They actually have 20... Or they started that way, and then they added more. So the next, like, yeah, I don't like know, eight months two. later, eight months later, they did, like, a mini part two where there's, like, um, six more or seven more episodes they added. And I kind of remember this being confusing for people when it came out, like, just hearing about it. But it's like these, like, weird webisode kind of thing. It's like weird, like, these two characters go off and have, like, a little adventure together. Oh, my God. Because, I think, because of COVID restrictions. I bet wow. they were, like, they had to do COVID tests, and they only... Okay. I wonder how those turn out. They're, they're like, little short stories, and they're, like, semi-cool, but semi, I'm watching them going, uh, this is during COVID. Like, it's like the writer <laughs> strike. I was like, these are COVID episodes. Because they feel oh. a lot different than what we were doing. They feel they're almost filmed differently with a different camera too. It's weird. Uh, I'm having a weird they time. Very legitimately. So it was like those 16 episodes, like leading up. I was like, "This is amazing!" And now I'm on these weird COVID episodes, and I'm like, "What is?" How going many episodes? On? How many seasons are there? Eleven. Okay, okay, so you got one season left. I've got. Uh, I'm on episode 20 or 21. <laughs> Of 23 of season 10, and then I've got the 26 episodes, 25 episodes of season 11. So I'm going to finish it. And I've had a lot of fun times with this freaking series, but uh, yeah, there's there's times where it's like, what are we doing? Are you going to watch the F Fear of the Walking Dead? I'm going to look into what all you that is. You should at least watch the first one because I have always laughed at that. Like I did. There's a new show. Fear the Walking yeah. Dead. I've been laughing about that since I, I, I did. It's supposed to be different characters. Yeah, I don't just, know. It, it's just called Fear the Walking I Dead. Have, I've I have not seen that. one screenshot of it. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what the logo looks I like. I want you to. You're gonna to have the to point tell where me I told Zach, like. I was like, "Isn't there a spinoff show called Fear the Walking Dead coming out?" And he said, "It's on their third season." I went, <laughs> "What?" Like I just had no clue about any of that. It's but, the Roblox of TV. Yeah. That's kind of <laughs> but and I guess they just announced like two new like spinoff things with like characters. Oh I gosh. love, and I'm like, do I? Is this my guilty pleasure? I get into. That's great. Maybe so, uh, but it's definitely guilty, guilty pleasure. But I, I have, I have a new um, respect for the show. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with these COVID episodes. <laughs> like I'm about to get down down the uh, wormhole here. Okay, all I have to say, I think we should end off on bad teenagers. Did you hear the story? I've heard the yes. Okay, I. Please tell it from I'm your perspective. I'm ready. I don't know this story. 
my wife left for the day, and usually <laughs> my and wife left me. I, <laughs> <laughs> always, always a terrible way to start. She she went out. <laughs> she went out for the, the evening. Voice of reason. I should say she was. <laughs> I should say. <laughs> Let me preface this. Let me do the fire walk with me. This is the prequel. We always usually in the evening on weekdays. Me and my wife like to walk the dogs. We go out. We have two little Shih Tzu dogs. This is important. All the things I'm saying are important for this story. Two little Shih Tzu dogs. You might have seen them on stream or getting up on us or whatever. Two little fuzzy little tiny dogs. Cute. Cute as can be. My wife was gone. I was like, ah, I'm still going to walk them. Like, I'm still going to wrangle both of them somehow because we like to be crazy out there. I get out there and uh, I'm like, should I, should I walk them? Yeah, I'm going to. They'll enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy the... So I go, I go walking, and I see uh, two teenagers walking down the street. And as I get close, I just hear, "F this man, F F man, F this, F that." And I'm like, "Oh, these are gonna be some great uh, people to walk past." Like I already know, like just hearing people just cussing in the distance at just yelling at things and birds. Like yeah. this would be good. Start to walk up. They're walking in the street. As I'm walking up, they're like, "Yeah, look at them, those dogs." Yeah, those are the types of dogs I cook. I cook them up in oil. <laughs> Eat them. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're cooking up. And as they're passing, I'm, like, trying to <laughs> process this. That they're, what, like, these two teenagers are saying they're going to cook my dog. <laughs> so I'm, I'm looking like this. As I get closer and they're in the street passing me the, the other way, I'm looking at them over like this. <laughs> like, I'm just, like, cringing, and I'm, like, I'm like, what do you, I don't know how to process what you're freaking telling me. Whatever. <laughs> so they say that, and they walk on like, yeah, whoa, whoa, those are the dogs. Aren't those little dogs? I, I eat those little dogs. Like, basically saying, like, he's like, oh, those are two little dogs. Like, little like dogs. oh, they're all pit bull, man. Whatever. Keep on, keep on walking. And, uh, and I, I should say, these kids have the quintessential, like, Gen Z, the muffin top, the little haircuts things yeah. that they got. So both of them have that. I walk on. And I turn back around to come back home. And there is kind of like a bridge area near like uh, my home. And some like kids like to go down there and they like they came back up. They're coming back up right when I'm walking by. And I'm like, oh, great. And I'm walking by and they're like, oh, why don't you just talk? And the other one's looking back. He's like, why don't you just talk about those two little dogs? Here they come again. <laughs> yeah, you cook them up. Yeah, I'm going to eat those dogs. Like they keep like threatening oh me. They're going to eat my dog. <laughs> So I keep walking, and they're like, yeah, yeah, man, I'm going to cook those dolls, little, little bitch, <laughs> little, little bitch boy, yeah, I'm talking to you, hey, I'm talking to you, and I'm not, I'm not answering them. I, I am, like, seething because I want to yeah. confront these guys. Yeah. Here's my issue. I've got two dogs two tiny yeah. dogs <laughs> yeah. and i can't like get into an altercation with you know what i mean like yeah. they're gonna yeah. run off or they'll lose track of them yeah. they run i can't fight with two dogs so i'm <laughs> trapped from these freaking uh bus and bus and gen z kids are yelling at me <laughs> and i can't do anything i'm stuck so i'm seething because it's like i'm stuck why did i choose to go on a walk so as i'm passing I'm like hey bitch boy hey Hey, and, and then they were going, hey, I'm talking to you. Hey, talk to me. Hey, you better talk while I'm talking to you, bitch boy, bitch boy. And they keep saying that as I'm walking on, and I'm like, come on, come on. And I've got two bags of their poop I'm holding, too, <laughs> going on. So I get home, and I'm just so freaking oh. irritated and mad. Like, I wanted to go back up there, but I was just like, frick, and just put the dogs up, got the dogs all taken care of. But that is the worst, like, position, because it's like, if it was just... Like, if it was me and my wife and they're saying stuff, it's like, hold the dogs, like, and I go over yeah. and confront these kids or whatever. But it's like, they they had How to know. I'm they were? 16 at the oldest. Probably, like, 40, between, like, 15, 16. Yeah. But, really confident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it's like, yeah, it's like both of them. It's like, I, that kid alone walking down, they would never say anything. But it's like, yeah, get them in a group. Yeah, when you got your backup with you. Yeah, get them in a group. But it's like, I can't do anything. It's like, it's one thing. It's like, you should have said something. You know, you think about Hooligans, that. But it's like, man. you can't. You can't. You're walking both your dogs. And it's like, Chelsea's not there to, like, you know, my wife's not there to Hooligans. hold them. So it's like, yeah. You know what? But. They so, play with on build mode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I told Chelsea, I was like, I, I was, she was like, what are you going to say when you, if you see him again? I haven't seen them. We've been walking and we haven't seen him again. 
But I was like, if I see him again, I was like, I was just gonna go, cute haircut. Because <laughs> like, that the kind of stuff that gets in their head, like what like, would you do if a like, sixteen year old was trying to fight you? Because you could get you could go to jail. I could, I could. So I it's could. like they're they're like baiting you into fighting, but it's like I can't even punch you because you're a freaking. I think I would. Player. I you can't have some self defense. Like if they yeah. were to throw the same the first punch or like they were to come over but, physically, but whatever, no push me and, and whatever. Said, I, uh, jail bait, like, but like you know the fighting. I think I'm willing to do a day. Uh, that's a point where it's like, if you're we're saying you're going to cook with the camera. camera. Yeah. <laughs> hey, come yeah. over here. Yeah. yeah. Here. You won't fight me over yeah. here. <laughs> in front, yeah, in front of my house. Well, Ooh. that was the other part, too, was like, I don't want to mess with that. Or that was the thing. I had to walk the, the, the one of my dogs was like, usually doesn't walk this far. They're ready to go in after yeah. a while. I had to walk them more because I had to wait for them to keep walking on. They did. But I didn't want them to see where I lived. I lived pretty close to where the altercation yeah, happened. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want them to like see where we live and yeah. prep on our house. You don't want to get into all that. But like, I, I, it was such a point where they're being such shitheads. It's like, I'll do a day. Yeah. I mean, like, one, one I'll do days. a day if they catch like, come, the right yeah, time. catch me at the right times. Like, I'm not worried, but like, uh, I'm kind of crazy too. But uh, <laughs> they don't know you watch The Walking Dead. They, they don't. don't. Gotta, you don't gotta freak somebody they, out. Yeah. I've been watching so much Walking Dead. It's like I was gonna reenact Daryl, <laughs> kind of stuff. You know. Well. They sound like losers. Yeah, but, but we have a, you know, I feel like weekly we have a bad teenager report, so. Yeah, we had a bad one at John Wick. John Wick, movie theater, they were shooting Nerf guns. So there was the a gun, theater. they were gun sounds. The kid walks out and pulls this and does this to his kids. His In kids 2023. And I, was, uh, and I was like looking at it like, what am I looking at right now? I couldn't tell. And yeah. A Nerf gun. Oh my yeah, god. So, uh, great. I was like, dude, you're yes. asking for some hero to stand up and shoot you. Yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. Idiots, man. Yeah. Idiots. Really? Idiots. Yeah. But here's, you a, here's that the thing. Their brains, do, they do not know. They're, they're not, they're not no. fully developed, but at the but same time. jerks. At the yeah. same time, like that incident, whatever, um, and the incident with like the, the movie theater, I just go back to because, like, are we just getting old? And I go back to and it's like, I would never in three jillion years get in the middle of a movie theater and like shoot a Nerf gun and, <laughs> and make noise and stuff. And it's like, nah, this is a new generation of fuckheads. Like, yeah. that's the only thing I can think of. It's like, what happened? Yeah. What, ha what was the disconnect? And like, saying you're gonna cook my dogs, it's like, I never did that when I was a kid. No. The stuff I did as a kid, I would just. A confused people. I like yeah. to wear a mask and like do some yeah. weird stuff in public yeah. and dress up. And it's like I just was doing it for amusement. Yeah. But I never was like harassing people. It's like yeah. what happened? Like I don't know. But and I'm not saying like all the kids are like that. Oh, but I'm just saying I've seen weird stuff I never saw and experienced as a teenager. You yeah. know. Here's, Here's what, what I'll tell you. I think I, think I know what bridge you're talking about. about. The, the person when I was a kid. Yeah. My, my friends, friends went under that bridge to smoke cigarettes. cigarettes. As six graders. Oh, shoot. So they just, you're in the trouble area. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. You're in the rough part. <laughs> that's where the, the, yeah, they're, that's like a bad bridge. It's hooligans. That's right. Yeah. It's just hooligans. Yeah. My, my dogs like to jump into the street off of that bridge. They don't like to stay on the sidewalk. They must know there's like some bad energy there. They know that's where the kids can get away with smoking. The bad bridge is You know what you need? Bad. You need one big dog to go to two little dogs. <laughs> Until the big dog eats one of the little dogs. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'll bring my dog. They can have my dog. Okay. They can eat. That's fine. Okay. But, no, please don't cook. Hey, if you're a teenager watching this, please don't say you're going to cook someone else's dog. Just, uh, <laughs> I don't like it. Put a, little, uh, a little piece of life in Be cool if you did. I was thinking, I, I was like, one thing I was thinking about was, uh, in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, there is a scene where he comes into town and they start messing with his donkey and like shooting the gun. It scares the donkey and the donkey runs off and, and Clint Eastwood has to get his donkey back. He comes back around. He's like, hey, fellas, like, uh, what you did my donkey? He didn't much like that. And I'm, I'm going to need you to apologize to him. And they start <laughs> laughing at him and they keep laughing. That's when he, he shoots all six of them. <laughs> so I was thinking of that, not the shooting thing, but I was thinking like, I'm going to need you to, if we ever walked with the... I'm going to need you to apologize, I'm gonna need you to, apologize to my dog. To, 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 my, to my four pound shih tzus right now. But. If you could get him to do it, that'd be the best thing ever. <laughs> get him to apologize. But that's the, that's the kind of stuff where it's like, that's worth going, you know, if any uh, uh, trouble arises. It's like, that'd be worth it. Breaking this. bad and stuff like that. It's yeah. to make more sense the old I, I'm, I'm, you know, I have a, I'm a little broke in the head, so let's see what happens uh, next time. We got time. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. But video games, bad teenagers, poisonings. This was an episode of the podcast. Thank you, Devin, for coming out. 
Just for this podcast. Thanks for having me. It's out. the only reason I'm here. He's yeah. a Nintendo yeah. plant. He heard I'm you. I'm yeah. yeah. it's awesome. Yeah. Reggie's in my ears the whole time. <laughs> he, heard it was, he heard Travis was going to be bad, and I was going to be bad. Bowser awesome. stuck Devin on me. Yeah. <laughs> Put him right next he, to him. He needed, uh, he needed to balance the force. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, thank check you. out Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. We do Hangouts. Right now we're going through Resident Evil 5. Still going through that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm complaining every week that Pierce won't lower the difficulty for me. I'm dying a lot <laughs> uh, in that. But we're having fun with that. Uh, that game's great with a friend. Yeah. Great with a friend. But uh, other than that, check us out. Dwee Bros on Twitter when we're going live. All the announcements. When we're doing live stream reaction stuff. Uh, which is a lot is coming up soon. The Summer Games Festival and some Xbox yes. showcase stuff. But, yeah. Uh, all that to be said, don't get poisoned. Yeah, try not to. Don't do that. Thank you. Goodbye. See ya.